Grifflands today. I'm very excited. This is sponsored by Clay Entertainment. Thank you, Clay. It's the third or, or fourth time we have played Grifflands now. It is a highfalutin double deck builder where you have an encounter deck, more traditional, kind of like Slay the Spire deck building where you're attacking units, blocking, etc., etc., and also a negotiation deck that allows you to non-violently solve encounters through intimidation, coercion, etc., etc. Um, some encounters will have, like, different weighted rewards that incentivize doing it one way versus another. Sometimes you're going to be forced to do it uh, in, in one way or the other. It's very story-driven, it's very rich, and it came out of early access today. Today. It's 20% off. For its uh, launch week discount, you can type exclamation point Grifflands in the chat to get a link. You can scroll down uh, below the vi oh, not below the video player. You can type exclamation point Grifflands in chat. I'm so I'm I'm on muscle memory for panel art. Exclamation point Grifflands in chat every five seconds will give you the link as well. So today, um, they they they've added a bunch of stuff since the last time we played it. Um, Including a, a daily challenge, which maybe like if we if we die at some point and end up with awkward timing, we can give this a try. But I think right now I'm probably just gonna get bodied. Um, I think what we're gonna do is try to play as Rook, uh, who we have never won as. We have won a run as uh, as Sal way back in the day, um, but uh, Rook we always lose at. So we could do story difficulty, but come on. I mean, you're talking to somebody who's beaten seventy five percent of uh, the Ascension 20s and Slay the Spire. Like, I think I know what I'm doing. 52 HP, 36 resolve. Um, and we we will, one of the things I love about Grifflands, it has streamer mode built into the, uh, built into the, the settings menu. So when it gets started, there's gonna be a little spot in the bottom left corner I can put my face in. Oh baby. Let's saboteur, Rook's saboteur outfit. Hmm, hmm. You know, I gotta be honest. I kind of like I kind of like the default here, um, and we'll just roll the default deck and stuff like that. Start at level one. Um, experienced players may wish to start at level one for a more balanced challenge. That that describes me right there. Tinker and Taylor. You freelance, and you're on your way to a job in Grout Bog, where the Spark Barons plumb the ruins looking for forgotten treasures. Tag yourself, I'm Rook. Spot, but they bleed you dry if you let them. Seems like you'll fit in just fine. All right, so I gotta remember the mechanics for Rook. Rook's whole thing he has a coin i believe the coin is like <clears throat> i don't want to say it's risk reward but there is probability associated with it it can have like big payout little payout sometimes the coin is <clears throat> i told you sometimes the coin can also be a little negative by like filling your deck with elements you don't need or something like that um so right now if you'll excuse me let me just move my camera down to the bottom left here for good reasons in the future Oh, oh, it can go it can go horizontal and vertical. It can go down files and ranks. Spare coin. If it hits heads, apply composure to a random friendly argument, which is like HP for your rhetoric. Um, which is not Danglish. That's that's legitimately. If you get snails, deal one damage to a random opponent's argument. Okay. The land around Grout Bog squelches with mud, hungry for legs as well as boots. The only road leads to a gate, flanked by armed security. A spark baron guard steps out into the path as you approach. Well, you heard her. You don't need me to say that. Tekapa? Uh, I'm more of a, a lull user myself. Unless you pay the processing fee. Then maybe I could see to considering your petition for entry. Pay the bribe $20. I don't think so. That's uh, almost, a, I mean, it's like more than a quarter of my net worth. I believe I will convince you to let me in without paying. And because you are not good at your job, you're easier to convince. Okay, wonderful. I can relate to that, but we, we must exploit it here. Forgive me for being skeptical of this fee. In fact, I'd like to speak to your manager. 
This is me at the McDonald's drive-thru. Okay, so we flip snails. It did one damage to their core argument. So it, I'll briefly like re-tutorialize this for people that uh, haven't seen it. Basically, this is your argument's HP. Your core argument is, you know, when it gets uh, reduced to zero, you lose. Similarly, they have core arguments when those are reduced to zero, you win. Um, you also have uh, intense. This is what the enemy is going to do, and some of these arguments can it, arguments will get spawned on this ring here. Um, sometimes you can attack them willfully. Sometimes you can attack them, you know, randomly by like you know an attack that hits a random argument. Um, when an argument is uh, it has its own composure reduced to zero, then it doesn't do the attack that it was going to do. So you'll see it for yourself. You'll you'll figure it out super quickly. I promise. Okay, so let me let me look at what we got here. We got three different kinds of cards. We got um, hostility negotiations, we got manipulate negotiations, and we've got diplomacy negotiations. So, we have snails active right now. Because we have snails active... Wait, it doesn't matter until it flips next turn, I think. Let me see what's happening to me on this turn, okay? Four damage is going to be done to my core argument, and an argument will be deployed against me. I will start by improvising a card from a pool of special cards. And then I will choose to draw a card, discard a card. And I'm going to get rid of pleasantries for now. Now hear me out here, all right? We have two of three actions remaining. Here's what we're going to do. It will cause us to take some damage if we do... Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to apply three composure to my existing argument. So that maximum damage we take is one. Then I'm going to grumble. And attack your core argument. Because that's all I can attack right now. Oh, okay. I totally did it wrong. Never mind. And then we'll, we'll gamble anyway. We hit heads and that gave us enough composure to not take damage. I'm accidentally the greatest gamer of all time. They have stolen my rationale card. You have stolen my pleasantries card. These are these are default cards. I care not. Okay. Shrew gains one composure for e each hostility card you draw. Sire, sire, they have stolen our pleasantry card. When this argument is destroyed, all cards are returned to Rook's hand. Rook gains two vulnerability. I would I to be honest with you, I think I just want to hit you. Like, I think I'll just... Because you're not even do. Oh, you're doing four damage to me. That's that's not nothing. Don't get me wrong. Um, I will continue to apply three composure. And then I will gamble and hope that we get heads again. We got tails, but that's okay. We take one damage. What have you done to me? You've, you've stolen two more of my cards. Straw man. I'm very familiar with this. When it's destroyed, gain three vulnerability. Okay. We need to do 8 damage to you. Here's how you do it. 4 damage right there. 2 damage right here. Call it friendo. We got heads. Deal max damage with pleasantries. Look at that. Okay, we got through our tutorial fight. <laughs> now, this is the fun part because you get... It's the same as uh, any deck builder in this sense. Like, so much of it is about... Uh, a, good cards, you know, there's cards that obviously provide more value than others, but then it's about the synergies that you can get as well. Hey, here's an argument, every time you draw it gets plus two damage. Hey, here's a card where when you play it, you draw, and then you draw a card that gives you two discards, and then you discard, every time you discard you have an artifact that gives you a draw, and all of a sudden, then you've got one attack that just is like a withering, you know, I'm rubber, you're glue, whatever you say, uh you know, bounces off me and sticks to you, and it does 400 damage, it's instant lethal, and then you, you win the game. Let me see. One energy, three damage. If you're on snails, this card costs zero. So it's three damage for zero 50% of the time. If a, if a card is prepared... Apply one composure to a random friendly argument every time you play a card. So prepare is a mechanic if the card is in the leftmost slot. So we don't have like a prepare engine right now. Um, but this is an engine. Dogged. I don't know why I said it's so weird. 
two to six damage. It gives you the ability to prepare a card. When this card is prepared, it costs two less. Or it costs one less. I don't think that it can prepare itself. Um, I don't know. I don't have a great decision uh, to be made right off the bat. Uh, but we can only play this with prepared. So this is tough to actually get out there right now. Two for two to six. People want snails deck. Snails deck. I mean, I guess we could... You know, let's let's try it. Let's try a little dig in here. Well, do you want to get your superiors involved? Ha, they just double the fee, but fine. Have it your way. But you better have some work papers, else the only thing I'm authorized to give you is a kick in the seat. Of course. Of course I have my work papers. This is my visa. This is my W8-Ben-E. As an independent contractor living outside of the United States. You pull the signed work visa from an oilskin wallet you carry for such purposes. Huh, looks legit. Who exactly are you meant to report to? Okay. We can work security and receive Blacklist. Which is a show starring uh, James Spader that I believe airs on CBS All Access. Um, but every time you play this card against a character... You add their name to the list, which makes Blacklist do more damage in the future, but you can only play it once per combat. Uh, or you can get Shovel. Gain two bonus damage per empty cell. Gain two defense per charge. We've never tried to use Rook's uh, charge ability. Let's give it a try. A foreman in the workers' camp. Someone named Prindo Calandra, I believe. Lucky break. She won't work you to death, that's for sure. I think she's too soft on the workers, if you ask me. Chat, don't look. Okay. Gained battle card. Shovel. I gotta search you, though. You got anything to declare? Um, except for my allegiance to the flag? You've only got one thing worth declaring, though. Get 100 shills. Receive amnesiator. A negotiation card. The next time the next card is played twice, then destroy it. Destroy this after two uses. So this is kind of interesting um, because we can use Amnesiator to actually get a double effect out of a card and then remove it from our deck. So we can actually dump two garbage cards from our deck and also get a decent benefit from it. Amnesiator itself will get destroyed after we do it two times, but that's still pretty cool. I do like drafting cards, but let's try that. Huh, that's allowed, as per the terms of your visa. Okay, and then I will take my leave. I always, anytime you get the opportunity to, like, remove a card or add a card, the thing is, like, removing a card is good. I know it's good. However, drafting is just so much fun. It's how you end up with, like, you know, 300 count magic decks. Even if I know that thinning is good for me, there's like a, an element of just like, it's fun. Yeah, so this is, um, I, I put Launch Party in the title. This is the 1.0 release of uh, Grifflands. It is uh, is available with the link that you can get by typing exclamation point Grifflands. Um, and it has exited early access after uh, after a few years. Like, it, it definitely, I think it was the first game I ever did a Northern Lion tries for in January of 2020. Like, in, in the before time. Okay, Calandra needs help, or we could work for the Spark Barons. I can't remember what we did last time. I feel like, um... Let's, let's go see what's going on with the Spark Barons. I think we. this is like, you kind of make a decision whether you're going to focus attack or focus uh, social. Um, we, we always have focused, uh, like, negotiation instead. Let, let's try to mix it up a little bit. Halt. Nodolulis sees the shovel you took at the gate. This is an administrative zone. No workers allowed. Excuse me. Well, in that case... <laughs> in that case, maybe I'll leave and I'll go see Calandra. I don't know. Or I could convince you. This also gives us a chance to use Amnesiator, so I'm going to give it a try. I have a meeting with Falemo. All right, we've done one damage right off the bat. I... We're, we're already on tails. We're going to get hit for sure. Okay, so here's what you do. You grumble for three bonus damage. We apply a bunch of composure to ourselves. 
And then we flip our coin two times. There's one damage. And there's more composure. I end my turn. She said, what are you even talking about? A withering glare. Stop stealing my cards. Okay, all business. Every card I draw gives you composure. Or every hostility card. When this argument is destroyed, you get two vulnerability. Okay, okay. No, I know, I know what's up here. I think we want to get rid of our pleasantries cards. That's my two cents. So I think let's let's play Amnesiator. And then Pleasantries. To get rid of it. And it'll it'll we we might as well. It'll do a bunch of damage here because it's getting played twice. Alright, get sent out of my deck. We are about to take four damage. There's not a whole lot really I can do about that. I wish I could flip, but I cannot. So let's just kill this so you don't get any more composure for nothing at least. And we'll, we'll take our four damage and move on. Is NL good at this game? Um, I really thought that I was the first time that I played. Because I won, the, I won as the bounty hunter character on my first run when chat thought it was impossible. And then I have lost every run I've done since. So it, it's really... Um, uh, the jury is still out. Let's put it that way. I would like to flip the coin. Yes. Let's flip the coin. It flipped into the wrong direction. I choose to improvise a coin instead. Rig means that the next gamble... ...can be whatever we want it to be. But I think it could also be whatever we want it to be if we just flipped it properly. <laughs> Instead of flipping it badly. Maybe that's not how that works. I'm going to protect this so we don't end up getting vulnerable. And then I'm going to just hit you as well. Hmm. Stop stealing. Actually, I don't know. Keep stealing my cards. I, I'm, I'm only going to get concerned when I don't have any cards left. Okay, so here's, here's the game plan now. You play Amnesiator again. Deal max damage two times. Now we need to hit you for five with one energy. That will not happen. And when you do overkill damage, that will uh, do damage um, like trample style, like Magic the Gathering trample keyword to our core arguments. So we do have to be uh, concerned about that. We definitely will flip. It flipped to the right one. But I still can't kill you. I can't quite kill you. Yeah, I don't want to hit their arguments, unfortunately, just because we, we get vulnerability out of it. So I think it's a little too dangerous. The bar on the cards... Oh, that's a good question. I didn't... Uh, I didn't say it. But every time you play the cards, they level up. So once you get to, once you play Grumble six times, you get an upgrade on it. Some of the upgrades, you, I mean, there's like different uh, game mechanics they introduce for each upgrade. Sometimes you'll get a choice between like get better in X ways and get better in Y way. And sometimes you'll get a choice from like get better in X way or the next time you play this card, it's removed from your deck. So they've really done a lot of like clever stuff um, with the way that they've introduced and, and kind of like folded in deck building mechanics to the game. Like, it's not just like Slay the Spire where you have to, uh, and, and I'm not insulting Slay the Spire, you know I love Slay the Spire, but, um, you know, you don't just have to go to the shop and then, you know, that's the only way that you can lose cards. Sometimes just by playing them over and over, you can, you can lose them as well. Um, which is good. If, if you haven't played deck builders a lot, losing cards is, is often a good thing. All right, so, you know, well, it's all right. At the end of every day, you can heal your psychic uh, damage. So I'm not sweating it. <laughs> Please be dead. All right, we've succeeded. I'm, I've mainlined. I, I refuse to play by the rules of my dungeon master. They said, you can't be here. I said, yes, I can. And I defeated them in the marketplace of ideas. Okay, prepare a card. We, we've seen Dogged before. Reckless insults. Spend all dominance. Gamble and deal two damage to a random opponent argument for every dominance spent. Dominance. Hostility cards deal an extra plus one damage, and it's an argument with two resolve. We don't have any dominance yet, but that's okay. 
deal plus one damage for every argument you have. We haven't really created too many arguments. Um, so I think neither of these are like particularly incredible right now. But we are getting rid of pleasantries. So I feel like the more hostility we have, maybe the, the better it is. Right now, this doesn't really do anything for us, though. And I, I think that's valuable that we have cards that, that do good work. So I'm taking the money. You can try to philem philemo, but don't try nothing. All right. <laughs> I won't try nothing. Hello. Philemo is easy to recognize, even though the years have been a little too kind to him. You spot him lapping at a drink like a contented salamander. I see you've gone up in the world since discharging, eh, rookie? Rook, you old scoundrel, you finally made it. Figured you'd be able to move faster than that, even with that bum leg of yours. Rude. Docktown's a long way from here, Philemo. And that's Captain Rook to you, even if we're both retired. I'll call you your royal highness if you can get the job done. Enough fiddle-faddle. Let's get to work so you can see what I'm up against. You wouldn't have called me out here if it weren't for something interesting. I'll take the job. You son of a bitch, I'm in. If there's anyone who can get to the bottom of this, it's you. I have a couple of things that need doing. Okay, so this is the quest screen. I pr Like, day one is kind of, especially if you haven't played in a while, it does a great job of introducing, you know, the, the way that missions work. Like, we've gone through a couple of negotiations already. We've looted a little bit, etc., etc. Now we get to choose our missions, and, and these missions involve the passage of time. So it really is like an exclusive choice. Once you take one, the other one becomes gated off from you. So you have to choose, you know, are you going to balance doing, like, negotiation and battle so that when you eventually have to do one or the other, you have a deck that has some, you know, merit in that regard? Or are you just going to try to force your way through in one way or the other? And if you get forced to battle eventually after doing all this debate, well, you get, like, your basic deck. Um, so this one is Battle and Negotiation Difficulty 1. A battle card gains 6 power and Krilled Up. <laughs> Lose 2 power every turn. But it replenishes its... It destroy after one use. 70 shills. Get a new card. Bandage. 70 shills. Um, and the focus is negotiation. That's weird. Let, let's, let's do battle and negotiation. I don't, I don't think either of them uh, give us amazing rewards, but that's okay. I'm the client, so I'll set the parameters as I see, as I see fit. Indeed, carry on then. There was a small upset in one of the work camps today. We sent in the usual suppression force, and the workers have been quelled, but the rise made off with a captive. A barren captive. It'd be one thing if it was just a foreman, but you can see how this would be damaging to the brand. Make the problem go away, won't you? Okay. I accept. I'm not gonna put you through, uh, like, a wall of text and then decline. That's just uh, impolite. Glad to hear it. Whatever it takes, old chap, you understand? Just get Fallow Palo back, but discreetly. And perhaps you ought to take one of our auto dogs with you, just in case you get into a spot. It might pay to have spot on hand, huh? Quite. Okay, we also have a Gate who has joined the party, a, a robot dog companion that I will henceforth be referring to as Ibo. Alright, it's a long trip here. Mm. Fortunately, it's easy enough to find the Rise Encampment, which means they're open to negotiation. It's not even... It, the, the D's joke doesn't even make sense with Ibo. I was going to tweet yesterday. I was going to say Tainted Lazarus can Ligma, but I, I thought maybe people wouldn't get it. After all, they know the bog better than you do. If they didn't want to be found, it'd have been much more of a challenge. It'd have been. Sure enough, you're not shot on sight. A Rise member approaches... Weapon at hand, but not at the ready. What do you want, stranger? This part of the bog ain't exactly hospitable to gawkers. Or jalopniks. I, I had to think of another blog that was under the, the gawker media umbrella. I've come seeking a baron, actually. Fallow Palo? Have you heard of him? What's it to you? This doesn't seem like any of your business. It's tough, you know, because like when I play an RPG... In my personal opinion, it's always more fun to negotiate than to just punch them, you know, and hit the A button until they die. That being said, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to negotiate instead. We're going to be forced to fight at some point. Our battle deck's going to get stronger. Let's try to make, uh, let's try to get this negotiation deck popping off. All right, and we got a cute dog, which should give us an advantage in my opinion. 
Okay, so you're doing four damage to me, but I start with one composure because of my roll. You also make one of my cards more expensive. Hmm, okay. That's true. Well, I will hit you for three because I can. I will apply three composure and I will hit you for three because I can. Easy. Next turn. Insert one propaganda card into the into Rook's draw pile at the beginning of Drabbit's turn. When it's destroyed, Drabbit res restores five resolve for each propaganda in your hand. Not an enormous fan. I definitely wish to hit that. Um, we want composure, which we don't have right now. So let's improvise to look for composure. Flustered. Reduces damage by 33%. I have to think here. Prepare is not useful for us, really. Draw, discard. Could help us get to com uh, a composure giving card. It did indeed. And then we can discard our expensive card. But now this one's expensive. What happened? But also, I'm I'm smart. I'm stupid. I don't know. Um, get owned? No, hold on. Gamble first. Okay, you've screwed me. Get owned. Get owned still. At least it carries over the one damage, but I do take a little there. And you get one extra. Okay. Well, um, I think we'll improvise for a, hopefully a free card. You know what? Actually, I, I like getting one bonus action next turn. Give me three composure, because we can. Uh, and then also I will hit you for three, which doesn't really do much, but that's... It is what it is. Okay, this guy... He, he, we're getting stunlocked a little bit. Gain two actions, draw a card for each friend you have. I would like to flip the coin. I would not like it to cost as much money as it does. Gain two actions? Are you crazy, dude? Okay, get owns. I have to do damage to you. I have to apply some composure, but I, at some point I gotta do damage to you. Like, I don't... He's a, this is a good lesson just for... Oh, whoops. Uh, I, have two, I have two actions left. I'm stupid, actually. Um, this is a good lesson for real life. The longer an argument goes on for, the more toxic it gets. It's very important. You know, when you get a conflict, if you can resolve it quickly, that's... It's gonna... It's going to give you advantages. Let's put it that way. Okay, so let's gamble. That's kind of what we're looking for, honestly. Crush this argument. We have two actions remaining. I would like to apply three composure, and then we might as well gamble once. And we take no damage. Very lucky. What the heck is that? Okay, so he's getting stronger over time. We're getting fatigued. I, I mean, sometimes you're just sick of arguing. I understand. So we're going to flip you. That's a bad flip for us. We really would have preferred to have, like, full damage. But we can hit you. We can hit you. And then we can apply three composure so we only take one damage. And then hopefully we can lethal you next turn. Because this is, like, not going very well. Um, next time, we're going to let our fists do the talking. Let's put it that way. Get owns. Get owns. Okay. Have you played this before? Don't insult me. Yes, but I'm not that good. <laughs> okay. Dead draw. Draw two cards, then gamble, which is a coin flip. If you get heads, those cards cost one less until played. That's pretty good. So you get a coin flip, two draw. And possibly the cards will be cheap, maybe even free. Influence is an argument that makes green cards uh, do better. Yeah, they do maximum damage. Uh, burn is just like, a, it's an AoE attack. It's not a neg, well, it's an AoE attack if you have uh, snails. I'm not going to try to force my, uh, my snails deck. I actually think just dead draw is pretty sick here. And then Grumble has been upgraded. Or has the ability to get upgraded. So it does 1 to 3. We can either make it 3-3. Three, three, which would actually be, I guess, 4-4. Four, four when we get Tails. Or we can have it give 1 Dominance. Dominance makes hostility cards do even better. 
And it gives it the other thing is dominance is an argument. So having an argument is one of those things that goes around like it, it's an orbital, basically. It will draw some aggression off of the enemies as well, which could be useful. So I honestly I, I feel like this is a, a more fun way to play it for now. Yeah, well, Fallow Palo is more important than we first assumed, which is why it's all the more crucial we keep him in pocket as a bargaining chip. Huh, that's big news. All right, then. The hidden entrance is over here. Well, then why did you psychologically damage me so much if we're, if we're friends? Grab it po points you towards an inconspicuous spot in the tree line, and you head inside. What does your combat deck look like? Have you added anything yet? Um, <laughs> look over there. <laughs> Yo, is he gone? Uh, we haven't touched it at all yet. Excuse me, what do you, excuse you, what do you think you're doing in here? I'm here to pick up Fallow Palo, boss's orders. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Uh, yeah, well, get on then. I don't have time for all this idle chatter, I'm afraid. Just hand him over. You don't tell me what to do. Well, it's true what they say, yes? Show, don't tell. Much more evocative. Kilka dislikes you. So there is like a loyalty system that essentially goes on with the game. Um... As you play the game, NPCs will start to like you, NPCs will start to dislike you, and that'll impact, you know, the, the quests that are available, the allies you can call upon, the prices you pay for things as well. Um, so, basically, I, I kind of willfully screwed up my reputation to prove a point here, but, you know, the, the things I'm going to do for my country. So, Auto Dog, let's take a look. He's taking five damage. He has metallic. He is immune to bleed and wounds, but piercing attacks do more. Pamphleteer Kilka, 49, oh, that's right, if you, if you get, and, and this is part of the loyalty system as well, if you get enemies down to zero, they die, and you'll face some consequences for that. Alternatively, if you get them to the point where they panic, which is low HP, but they're not dead, you can choose whether to execute them or let them go, which can have implications both mechanically and in the story as well. At the end of Kilka's turn, apply two heal. Okay, that's fine. Um, we're not getting hit, but we could apply some defense to the dog, but we'll just give him an oil can when we get back to the base anyway. Uh, we do have one charge. Charge can be used for certain cards for additional effects. So we get uh, three defend per turn right now, but we gain one charge per turn. I choose to... Um, well, I think this is like kick is really good. That's just a lot of damage. And then I'll hit you for... I thought that would have been more, but that's okay. And the dog can take the hit. Who cares? Look at that. It, 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 it stood up to it regardless. A status effect will be applied. What, what, what status effect? I guess we'll find out. Deal two bonus damage per empty cell. Gain two defense per charge. Well, I mean, this is, uh... Shovel actually seems pretty sick. I'm gonna kick you as well. I think I'm gonna blast you, quite honestly. I mean, again, I, I, I feel like I have no problem here. Plus defects. The next attack on this fighter does double damage. Everyone's saying, I hate dogs. I'm not the one attacking the auto dog, okay? So you're going to hit me for 8 damage. No, you're going to hit me for 7 damage. Okay, that's fine. We already get 2 defense per at the end of our turn. Uh, per empty cell. So this would actually give us... A net change of 0 defense. This would just give us charge. I think I'm just going to make you... Oh, I can't make you panic. I need... I'm trying to figure out the order in which things go in. You're going to take 8 damage. There's another 8 damage. Okay, so you're gonna flee, I think, before you hit us. Just give me the defense, just in case I'm wrong. Okay, so you have panicked. Please, no more. Will we execute you, or um, not execute you? I choose to accept your surrender. Quite frankly, I don't even remember why I dislike you. Costs one less per empty cell. Hmm, that's tough. Concentrated. Apply two wound. Um, wound makes all attacks do slightly more damage, which is it, one damage might not seem that special, but it actually adds up, especially if we do like flurry type attacks. Sorry, my cat would like to come in. Come on. 
No, he's... Never mind. Never mind. He does not want to come in. Um, Crackle. Very thematically fitting card for me. If the target has burn, gain two charge. We don't have anything that creates burn right now. Um, but four damage for one. Oh, now he wants to come in. Okay, hold on. Welcome, Tomo. There he is. The lad has shown up. Well, I'm not going to take cheap shot. It just seems, uh, it seems dangerous to me. I think, I think we should try to find a way to get concentration and apply some wound. And then, our, our, because we defeated somebody in the thrill of battle, our mental improved. <laughs> Thanks for getting me out of this mess. My pleasure. And we don't even have to fight on the way back. Look at that. Take me back. Hello, Tomo. You want to... Chad would love to see the Tomo boy. Look, there he is. Hello, Tomo. You can go in the box. There you go. All right, mission completed. Tell Falemo that Fallo Palo has been freed. Glad to see you in one piece, old boy. You never really know when dealing with the Rise, you know? I trust everything went smoothly. Quite. Fallo Palo has been removed from Rise clutches as requested. And how did the auto dog serve you? Uh, he was really good at uh, tanking. I appreciate that. He, he took the heat off of me. Seems to work just as well as the mechs I've encountered. Though the four legs are a charming touch. Thanks for the rescue. Never thought the boss would send an old war buddy to pull me out of the muck. Philemo is full of surprises. Our targets used to learn that the hard way. Uh, I, I've never seen the quest mechanic before. Once we get over the dialogue here, we'll figure it out. Boon. Torpor Fiend. When you sleep, you gain full experience on a random card. So this is like a... a it's a passive item. Um, I think... Passive items, I believe you can have an infinite amount of. Um, but in terms of, like, when you uh, reach... I think it's at the end of days, or you can also buy them um, from merchants. You can equip negotiation items that are, like, actually transformative boons. And, and battle items as well, with a limited amount. But passive items, you can, you can have an infinite amount of, I think. So getting a fully upgraded uh, card every time we sleep is, is potentially crazy. Although we only sleep like four times. And we got our quest bonus. Okay, welcome. Which we can only use one time, but that's okay. Okay, Tomo. My son, I just... Uh, don't, you're, you're very cute right now. You're very cute, but could I put you in the box? Could I put you in the box here? There we go. There we go. Don't, don't jump out. You're doing, you're doing great, buddy. <laughs> Nope, there he goes. Um, all right. We do have a quest as well. What is this? Oh, this is our relationship. So one person loves us, one person likes us, one person dislikes us, nobody hates us. I can live with that. That's a pretty good ratio for a streamer. Before we do our next uh, quest, I should point out, exclamation point Grifflands. This is a sponsored stream to celebrate the launch of uh, Grifflands into 1.0. It's exited early access. If you click on the link that you'll get with exclamation point Grifflands or scroll down to the video description below, you'll have the opportunity to see the game and pick it up for yourself. It's 20% off. Clay is also doing a, a big sale. I, I don't know the full details, but on June 3rd, a big sale for maybe it's the rest of its catalog. It was, it was lampshaded in the email a little bit, but the launch discount for Grifflands is 20%. All play and no work is a battle-focused quest. Food Fight is a negotiation-focused quest. Honestly, I think we should, we should do another battle one for now. My people tell me that Erbla, a laborer, has been shirking responsibility. Erbla, the laborer Urkla, has been shirking responsibility? How about that? She's been given demerits, but it's clear she's angling for us to cancel her contract, r slash malicious compliance. I've seen this voluntary termination technique before. It can't be permitted. Seems the simplest solution is to just give her what she wants, no? That's rather naive of you, Rook. This is clearly a ploy by the Rise, testing our authority. So what I'd like you to do is remind Erblo of her place. Contracts are meant to be kept. Oh no, it's Roland Garros? See to it that she gets a punishment she can't ignore. I accept... 
you know, this Herbla might surprise you with her resilience. Ermagerd, it's Laborer Herbla. My sources tell me you can effect, expect to find Herbla drinking. Typical. Well, no more futzing about. Have at it, Captain. Oh, and I suppose you'll be wanting to requisition some supplies? But I'm afraid that's not on the table, friend. You're a contractor, after all. Try the bartender at the last stand. It's an unsavory sort of place, and it'll serve unsavory sorts like you. It's, I'm, I'm responsible for the, the insurance on my, my own car for this Uber trip. Okay, well, we, we can go there first. That's fine. A dusty old Kradeshi approaches you as you enter. You're Admiralty, yeah? I can read it across your shoulders. Aerostat, if I had to guess? Compliment him on his perception or warn him to mind his own business. I will compliment you. They can take our youth, but they can't take our cunning. They would if they could, I'm sure. I don't know who they is, but I'm pretty sure based on this man's belt buckle, he is Batman. Do you have your squadron coin? Oh, you're the coin replacer! The average coin flipper versus the one, what's the Giga Chad coin enjoyer? Can I see it? Now that's quite personal. Don't take offense, I'm a collector, you see. I have several coins of my own if you're up for a trade. I'm always here, I like the foot traffic. You might decide, you decide you might be up for a trade, just find me. Okay, hello, hello trade lord. Trade coins. So this is our current coin. We could also get sifting is draw discard. That's pretty cool. Marsh coin literally first off it's got a frog on it. That's sick. Literally just strictly better, but strictly better on heads, neutral on tails. Mud coin strictly better on tails, neutral on heads. I, do, I, I just want to take a quick look at my negotiation deck. So dead draw makes heads better to begin with. I don't think it matters too much which one we go for um, right now because we haven't really picked an archetype, if, if archetypes are even a thing in this game. So I'm going to say uh, frog coin to the moon. Mostly because frog is a cool animal in my world. Ah, yes, this one has a familiar weight. A pleasure to hold it again, for sure. He doesn't even know that's your starting coin. What an idiot. <laughs> uh, this bar is well known in your network. A quiet speakeasy where folks like you can rest away from prying eyes. The clients keep their heads down as you come in. If they're curious enough to study your face, they're clever enough to hide it. Hello, barkeep. The name is Rook, and I'm simply parched. I'll have one of your finest beers, please. Word was I should expect you. I don't make a habit of helping out no more than I need to. Just a Sleeman 2.0, please. Um, I will uh, ask about... That's all right. I'll thank you. Thank you, barkeep. Your warmth and hospitality will keep me going today for certain. Hebel digs around the bar, producing a lined case of unlicensed graphs. A gift, my fine friend, that we've only just met. You call in good favors. Okay. So these are limited supply. We can only have four in our inventory or, or activated. Um, parietal integrator. At the start of each negotiation, discard up, up to two cards and draw that many new ones. Gain 10 max health or rig two heads. I think we want to rig two heads with the idea that that could, if we draw dead draw early, rig... Uh, Cheap drawn cards that it honestly would mostly be free, I think. So I think that's a big one. So just put that right between your ears. Very useful. And if I wanted to call in further favors, I got drinks, I got eats. You want anything other than that, you're going to have to talk to the Jakes. They have a shop set up at the edge of the bog and the edge of the law, for that matter. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Well, I appreciate the information. I'm sure we'll speak again soon. Um, we could go to the black market, but I think I'm going to start by doing the quest, and then we'll go to the black market maybe when we, we have some more resources. Hello, Erbla. You might call Erbla Radiant, but that's probably just the radiation. Confront... I, I'm, I'm here to confront you about the shirking. I hear you've been shirking your responsibilities. You a bounty hunter or something? I ain't no truant. I still show up to every shift. Besides, if the barons don't like the work I put in, they can just fire me. 
That's the power they got, isn't it? I got to serve my contract Hesh and High Water, but they can do what they want. Okay, they, look. Let's try to, let, let's see if our negotiation deck pops off here. I'm supposed to give you a motivational beating. If you act sufficiently scared, we can skip to just improving your work output, yes? We are going to be intimidated, though. So there's our first... Okay, it didn't work, sadly. But um, we do have an argument guaranteeing us heads here right off the bat. At the end of your turn, incept to intimidated. Intimidated makes hostility cards do more damage. I guess, you know, it, it must be the, the fact that her apron is bolted on. That's, that's scary for me. Salt of the Earth. Um... I gotta think about it, because we don't want to use our heads just yet if we don't have to. So let's start with Trickery, and then we'll draw two. We got Dead Draw. Draw two cards, then gamble. This is exactly what we want. These cards are now free as a result of uh, the way that we were playing. Can I give you... You're not getting attacked anyway, so we don't really care. Um, but I will deal... Max damage to you. I will apply composure because I can. Um, and then we, we only have one more rigged heads. So I don't really want to flip anymore. I think we just pass our turn. Negotiation flourish. I had no idea. There, there's like an ult uh, bar in here as well. 146 of 200 flourish available. Flourish persists between negotiations. We're at 146 of 200. That is true. Playing cards does upgrade them. I guess I guess we might as well play them. Let's start here. So that's composure for no reason. And that's just a little extra damage. But still, okay, good point, good point. Okay, and you're right. They're not intimidating me. I'm intimidating them now that I think about it. Every time a card is played, you get a stack. With enough stacks, you do five damage to me. Okay. Good to know. What if... Okay, we're going to start by getting some Dominance, which makes all Hostility cards do extra damage as well. And Hostility cards already did plus one here. Then we will use this as well, which will hit you. We would like to get some Composure. Let's start by Incepting. Draw this card. I think we'll just take um, a bonus action next turn, which it does remove the Intimidate here, but I'm not sweating it too much. We'll get one next turn. I mean, we're, we're pretty much in control here. I think. <laughs> um, I'm gonna flip you. Yeah, let's flip you. I don't think that's what we're looking for. I'm gonna flip you. That's what we're looking for. Then I'm gonna smack you. And then we'll apply the composure. Okay. We're still steady. Well, this guy's throwing up. Bone tired. When destroyed, loses nine resolve. Okay, three resolve for nine resolve. That's pretty good. Dead draw is a little spicy here, in my opinion. Let's, let's start with this. You have six HP now. Okay, you're so you lose. Owned. I'm not owned. I'm not owned. I swear we could have leveled up something, or at least gotten closer. I think. So. I got it now. This is what early on you kind of can't make a wrong decision when you go through something like this. The later you get, and the more you find yourself like in a lane that you've created yourself, the more responsible we are for thinking here. Blank. You gamble if it's on heads, you gain three bonus damage. Um, it's good early. I mean, that's a four to six damage one energy card that also comes with a coin flip, which gives you a reward in and of itself. Bottom snail. Skipping on principle. Head turner. One to four, deal max damage on heads. So it's four to four, essentially, which is worse than this, if we play it early. And on prepared, it uh, gives your energy back. I think... We want blank. I think blank's gonna be sick for us here. 
They'd rather break you than terminate your contract. Does that sound agreeable to you? No, they'd really do that? I'm afraid so. Okay, I get the picture. I'll work harder from now on, I promise. See to it that you do. From one independent contractor for tax purposes to another. Don't let it happen again. Okay, we'll get our quest reward. And then let's go to the black market and maybe we can buy some stuff to, to pop off even further. Get paid. I spoke to the target and spoke to? You were supposed to punish, not coddle. Come, Philemo. You know how I work. If it gets the results you desire, I'd prefer if you didn't micromanage. The problem here is a miscommunication. I wanted Herbla terrified. Next time, remember the objective. She's terrified by the power of my rhetoric. I will restore my psychic resolve. You know I didn't call you all the way out here just to rough up some organizers. I have my own enforcers for that. I need a particular set of skills. Skills that would make me a nuisance for a man like you. I thought you might. You want to discuss it here? No, I rather don't. The watering hole is a good place to have a quiet conversation. You all right to make it there on your own or will you need an armed escort? You may have been our leader, but I was the better marksman. It would be a shame if that required a demonstration. All right, lampshading our future final boss, perhaps? Um... Well, we have limited time opportunities. Do you guys know if uh, if I go to the black market? That probably won't gate us out of either of these, right? If it does, I would rather go to the quest first. You have to go to limited first. Okay, well, my mistake. I didn't know what I was talking about. Um, a mysterious gambler has been seen plying his trade in the bog. Or there's a cache of healing supplies hidden in the bog. I mean, come on. Gambling streams are popping off on Twitch. You see a Kradeshi trying to get the attention of the crowd. Is he going to make my frog coin even better? <laughs> Step right up. Test your luck. This interested worker streamed past him, too absorbed with their own troubles to take on his. What are you selling here, friend? Oh, you startled me, Grifter. Nobody ever stops to talk to me here in the bog. But to business, yes, I'm offering a moment's respite from the drudgery of daily life. There's a hungry glint in Krog's eyes that you recognize from many a mirror. Test your luck with my game of chance. You might just win. The kid's fingers twitch nervously, anticipating the grift. I will... I will... Pay 10 shills to play the game. Keep your eye on the coin. Here we go. Call it. Your practiced eye tells you that the coin is weighted to come up heads. I call heads. Uh, yes, you win. You're on a hot streak. You should go double or nothing. Show Krog how it's done. Your technique is good, but not great. Heads. Snails. Heads. Snails, you can keep it up all day if you use your wrist properly. Listen, man, I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to make enough money to get back to Murder Bay. It's nice this time of year. Offer to trade the Marsh coin, which is pretty sick, for Krog's weighted coin. Heads comes up 90% of the time. Yo, that's really good. Let him off with a warning. Give him, give him some money. Demand all his money. <laughs> yeah, gambling does nothing. But getting to free cards off of uh, Dig Deep or whatever it's called. I think it's, I think it's sick, man. What, if you love me, I wonder what your boon is. 20 shill discount from shopkeepers. Oh, you... You've done this before, don't do this. People are saying that's an insane boon. Really? That's worth? All right, you know what? P people love the frog coin. Go ahead. Take 50 shills. And then give me your boon so that I save 20 every time I buy something. Krog scuttles off. Pockets full of a pocket full of shills. They're running down your quest. Well, we won't go to the black market just yet. We'll, I, I promise you, we'll do it. We'll do it at the end of the first day if we have a chance. Buy the dip on frog coin? Okay. We, uh, barkeep, I don't want your coins. I will wait for Philemo here. Ain't none of my business, is it? You lean against the bar and watch the crowd as you wait for sunset. With the last of the light, Philemo walks through the door. Hello. 
Ah, this place brings back memories. I want a lot of money playing cards at this very table. Is that why you brought me here to play cards? I have something even better in store for you, old friend. He pulls out a bag of crazy bones. I want you to infiltrate the rise. It's time we put an end to this worker rebellion. I see. I'm to find out who's in charge? A member list? I know who's in charge. It's Calandra. I want you to get close to her, make yourself invaluable, then we'll take it from there. And how am I to do that when I can be seen having a friendly chat with a prominent Spark Baron? Why, we're only talking, and you're very tricky. The taps here loosen tongues, and I have valuable information. The kind of information that would be very valuable to the Rise. Oh, the intel is very real. We'll take a few casualties, but it's a price I'm willing to pay. So I'm to convince them I'm a double agent? I'm a dude disguised as another dude playing another dude? Please, Rook. This is child's play comp compared to your admiralty days. I accept the job. Try turning yourself in at one of the cells. I happen to know the location of one. Take it nice and slow. As you say, you've been seen with me. It'll take some convincing that you're on the level. Especially because their suspicions will be well-founded. Uh, this is Army Hammer, Mission Impossible Fallout 2019. I have no plan for extracting you if things go sour, old friend, so don't mess this up. Philemo serves you only a wink in response as he pays his tab and makes for the door. Drunk high? Another limited time opportunity. Okay. A traveling auto dog salesman has set up a makeshift stall? Or your friend Krog has a gift for you. A battle card. Two random cards in your hand cost zero until played. Replenish, destroy after one use. No, we go to auto dog. 100%. I'm not getting some, some Kool-Aid that I can only use one time. What kind of wares do you have? Khajiit has coins if you have wares? I've got the best deals on auto dogs in all the bog. My collection varies from pristine auto dogs to modified versions to feral ones. Of course, they're all loyal and obedient. 155.80. Oh, what the? Spark Baron auto dog. Rise auto dog. Tame feral auto dog. Bro, we're, we're, we're spending here. We're spending. I'll take the best you've got. Excellent choice. Definitely the most value for your money. The auto dog has joined your party. Gain this card when you murder auto dog. That's all right. I don't know if I overspent, but that's okay. Infiltrate the rise. We have no money now, so we can't go to the black market, really. <laughs> a lone Jake confronts you. Back me up and I'll pay. Back you up with what? You'll see. The Jake exhales and steps behind you. Before you can question her further, you are joined by the rise. There she is. Hey, I like this guy. We're cool. Out of the way, Grifter. We have business to discuss with that Jake. I am going to... Uh, I'm going to convince you to uh, back off, okay? Haters Back Off by Miranda Sings. The Union stands with Rook. Get flustered. Okay. Uh, dude, even still, even still, even still, get dead drawn. Check this out. Draw two cards, then gamble. Look at that. We get a, we get a free grumble, which is not really worth that much now that I look at it. But then check this out. We're going to gamble. And then we're going to gamble to level these cards up. And finally, it worked. Get owns. Stop making my cards cost more. That's like the worst debuff, man. Insert propaganda into Rook's draw pile at the beginning of his turn. We don't sweat that. Okay. Gamble. On heads, you get some bonus. Whoa. On heads, you get some bonus damage. We, we could use the composure, don't get me wrong. But first, how about you just get owned? And we could use our, our negotiation flourish. Look, he's, ult he's ulting, dude. <laughs> I don't know what it does, but I gotta know. Trickster. Gamble five times. Accumulated flourish persists between negotiations. Look for the flourish vendor to unlock flourishes. Yo, do it, man. Gamble five times. He's This guy's popping off. Okay. Well, we don't need to play composure anymore. Um, that that's super cool. You could I didn't know you could concede. <laughs> um, it's almost like it's it's PvP. Okay, hold on. So we have bonus damage. Trickster on CBC and CBC gems. 
We might as well take some composure. We might as well gamble, get some bonus damage. It totally worked. Dude, we're doing great here. You could you could technically coin concede. Absolutely. So we love dead draw, but it has to work for us. We can't guarantee it will work for us here. I think we want to flip first. The flip has worked out wonderfully. Um, so we'll do... Th well, we can't get composure anyway. Yeah, so we might as well just hope that this works. We need to do five damage. It's a one in three chance. Life goes on. And wait, you have, uh, cancel. I'm stupid. I have playable cards remaining. Give me free composure. Reverse your lucky coin. Incept flustered or draw this card. Okay, well, we'll reverse it and get one composure. Two composure because we're frog coin. <laughs> oh. He's so good. He's so good. Okay. Pick a negotiation card. Dig has been fine for us. Um, Muck gives us Gamble. If it's Tails, we attack with this card twice. Doesn't seem that great right now, but we do have some dominance. Uh, and then Roughneck. So go check the hole in your side. Watch your step. Don't flex to get a hole in your side. Swallow your pride. Don't let your lip react. You don't want to see my hand where my hip be at. On, on Heads Gamble, you remove Composure. On Snails, you steal Composure. That doesn't seem good for us. In fact, I might even suggest that kind of all of these are, are not good. Um, dig is fine, but I think that's a skip for me. I don't want to minimize our chances of drawing dead draw. Call it. You can set the coin... And then it's sticky, not discarded at the end of your turn. Or replenish. When it's drawn, draw another card. Swallow your buffalo. I mean, set the coin is good. Being able to set it. Ah, but it's not a rig. I still think it's I still think that's better. And then set the coin, gain bonus damage, expend. So you, it removes for the rest of the negotiation. Yeah, I think, it's, I think setting the coin for now is very valuable. Let's meet back at the market. We can discuss a discount on your next shipment. Agreed, but this shipment better work. The rise melts back into the bog. Thanks for that. Some people take business transactions too personally. Now, as for payment, Wicca loves you. 20 shill discount from shopkeepers? I have a 40 shill discount now. Like, I'm, this is insane. If, if I buy things that cost 50, they're all going to cost 10. That's, oh my god, come on, man. I think 25 shills is fair. I don't want you to dislike me. So I'm just going to take the 25 shills. We got double, double steam sale. Okay, I'm going to infiltrate the rise still. Before we go to the black market, I want to have, have some money. I want to I have a stack. You kick up moss, looking for signs of buried fires. You see a small mark scratched into the lichen of a large stone. You lost, Grifter? Her eyes flame when she sees you in the light. You're the one contracting for the barons. Fair warning, you should leave while you still can. Pardon me. There's going to be a reckoning soon, and nobody will care if you get caught in the crossfire. You remember of the rise, then? I don't suppose you know where I'd find Calandra at this time of night, do you? I'll kill you before I let you get to her, boot licker. <laughs> Jeez, so rude. Uh, I'll be honest, I thought that I might fight you, but you seem kind of strong, so I think I may just debate you instead. Let's take a breath, shall we? Yes, I'm on the payroll, but my loyalties lie with Calandra. I'm going to start with... I think we should just smack you. Straight up, I think we should just smack you. Take one of these. We... No, that's the that was the way to play it. Okay. I would like some composure. But we're only taking two damage. Who cares? Nobody cares. In fact, we don't even... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm thinking. Okay. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm gonna hit you. 
And then, believe it or not, I'm, I'm going to hit you again, but I'm going to set the coin to heads so I take no damage. And look at this dominance we got for our next turn. The thinky? I still took damage. I'm uh, stupid. Uh, decisive call it. Set the coin sticky. We still have the rigged heads. So if this will do four minimum. We can, it's hard to get to 13 damage now that I think about it, but that'll do four. Start here. Thanks for the composure. Set the coin to snails. Now this is free. And we still choose to take no damage because we apply composure. No problem. Propaganda. Not worried. I need to hit you for five. That's very doable. We still have the rigging. So we can play dead draw. In order to get like a bunch of free cards. And then we'll try to like level up. Uh, as many cards as possible. Gamble deal bonus damage. We got one energy remaining. Swap its cost with this card's cost. I'm just trying not to screw it up, okay? I will prepare this card. That way we can play this for free and also get it closer to leveling up. This doesn't level up anymore because it's already leveled up one time. So instead we will just now kill you because that's our last energy. Okay, good. Smart. Kind of smart, maybe? Let's upgrade our dig. Dude, honestly, on heads it costs zero. That's exactly what we're looking for. And then pick a negotiation card. Every time you gamble, reduce the cost of this card by one until played. We do gamble a lot. And this, you know what's interesting about this card is it levels up so fast. But I don't believe that set actually gambles. Set, well, maybe it, it doesn't say gamble, but um, we don't have influence. So this is not, this, the art on this is so good. Set is a gamble. <laughs> oh. Can left click to see the upgrade? No, you can right click to see the upgrade. Left click, I think, would take it immediately. Every time you gamble, reduce the cost by one until played, but it does more damage. Every time you gamble, reduce the cost is by one until played, but it's slightly cheaper. I don't think it's that good. I'm happy with my existing deck. I, I skip for now. This could really make a difference, Pops. I hope you know that. Zombul gestures for your map and makes a quick mark on it. You won't find Calandra there. She's too well protected for that. But you can find someone who can vet you. Why, thank you for your trust. Owned? I, I owned them and they thanked me for it. How about that? You find a ramshackle structure hidden in the bog right where you were expecting. Thinking it best to put a bolt for forward, you barge in. Who the heck is that? I'm looking for Calandra. Heard of her? Drop the act, granddad. I'm two seconds away from blasting you back to wherever you came from. This is Malf. Explain yourself now. I work with the Spark Barons, but I find them distasteful. I'm here to offer my services. And you expect us to trust you? Of course not. That's why I've come bearing gifts. You hand over the intel. Fleckfist's eyes grow wide when he reads it. I'm gonna need some time to go over this. How about this? I send you out on a job while I check the info. Sure. Focus on battle and we get a random graft? The barons move spark through the bog at night, thinking the darkness protects them. It does not. We are the bog. One of our cells is ready to strike, but they're down a fighter. Go make sure they succeed. I accept your offer. Now go do it! I like I like that they're like all business oriented here. They're just like just go to town. <clears throat> okay. Rise ambush site provisions. I promise you we'll go to the black market one of these days. I'm just like 91. It, like it's like going to the flea market with 2 bucks in your pocket. Walking down the road, you come across a plant that you recognize from a book about foraging in Grout Bog. The plant's leaves have fine markings on them, the flowers are an exuberant shade of red, and the small berries have a deep blue color. The leaves are supposed to be delicious. Or was it the berries? 
leave without tasting the plant. <laughs> I, why is it that every game I play has an event that's like, eat something uh, that's potentially poison? I'll take the coward's way out and, and try to just secure the dub. If you meet me behind Grout Bog, I will show you where the treasure is hidden. His name is Carlor. You find the ambush spot in the rise cell that's waiting there. Intruder detected. Wait, who's that? Fleckfist sent me. Said you need some help. Oh man, do I ever. We're a bit understaffed here. Mallow gestures at a fellow rise member's corpse, stuffed unceremoniously behind a bush. Uh, get ambushed? Let's finish this. Finish it! Whoa, be careful what you say around this thing. You hide and wait for your target. It doesn't take long. Something's not right here. Select all. <laughs> Destroy. Drop the loot and reach for the sky, Barons. Intimidate or attack? This, come on, we gotta do some battles. Attack. Telomere dislikes you. She doesn't understand, though, that it's just, this is business. It's business. All right, well, we're gonna take a hit unless I can... How much, you, how much damage are you taking? You guys are preparing? Come on. That's an insult, man. I guess I'll just blast you. At least we high rolled. We'll get two defense, three defense from our charges and take four damage. No big deal. Acquiring target. Shovel is kind of incredible. Two bonus damage per empty cell. You need to take 25. You're taking 13 right now. You're preparing for an attack? Or no, you're, you're applying a status effect? I'll just smack you. And then I'll hunker down myself. Uh, two times. Four experience points. I mean, I don't know how you expect to be able to get through this. I mean, it's 4v1. It's like me in... It's 4v2. It's like me in uh, Knockout City. When destroyed, the attacker gains mending. Grout Bog Burr. Action on the surface that is, has disturbed the bog and caused a burr to emerge. The burr will return to the bog in four turns. Okay. I need to hit you for seven. I don't really want to use... Uh, this card yet, because it destroys after one use. I don't think it's necessary. Spend the charge to do bonus damage, which I think is already factoring in here. Um, let's use Ammo Pouch to improvise a cool card. Mark gives you charge when you hit enemies. Gain overcharge. Increases max damage of all cards by one for each overcharge. Okay, so check this out, man. Gain overcharge. I need to hit you for five. It has not been done. I regret my words and my deeds. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to play it. Okay. Yes, don't show again. <laughs> I oh, have you know, I never end my turn with cards playable. It's never happened in any deck builder ever made. Okay, I want to level up my cards before... Oh, you're, you're already going to surrender? Okay, well, let's level up as much as possible then. Like, I don't know. Get smacked, but don't die. I've made a mistake. Anyway, I accept your surrender. I've restored one resolve and my battle cards. We need concentration, right? Like, didn't, didn't we take a card that requires concentration? Yeah, zero. When concentrated, applies wound, which is actually amazing, I think. So, gain two concentration. Apply do two defense per concentration you have. So, this is minimum two concentration plus four defense. Or, draw two cards, gain concentration equal to their combined cost. So, it's probably one, draw two cards, get two concentration. I think it's a, it's a better engine for us. It's a little cheaper right now. I surrender. Please don't kill me. They've seen our faces. We have to finish them off. That's harsh. It is, but it has to be done. Um, no, let them go instead. Maybe having a couple of friends on the other side is worth the risk. Yeah, listen to this grifter. Yo, what is this? 
The first card played at the start of your turn is played twice. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, you don't say. Well, in that case, let's uh, let's get two dominance out there so our red cards are that much better. Gamble 100% is going to make heads. I think you just do it like this. And then we still have one rigging. We might as well set it to snails for a second, and then it'll flip back the heads anyway. Why not? Who cares? The barons will suck you dry? Is that a promise? Okay, dead draw. There's no guarantee it's going to make heads, but... I don't really care if I get hurt anyway. I'd like to level this card up as much as possible. Okay, mission failed. Mission failed successfully. Excuse me? Heads, please. Owned. I'm, I'm, I'm not owned. I'm not owned. I think we have too many cards, man. <laughs> can, you roll, can you roll need? Now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. We need to do seven damage. This costs three. That's just ridiculous. Um, I will just make you snails right now. I got to do three damage. I have to do three damage. Let's start here. Let's start here. Um, honestly, you might as well make it this because we we can't kill you this turn anyway. Do you mind if I roll need? Wait, what is... Does, it, does Loot Order say mind if I roll need? Shouldn't he be saying mind if I roll greed? Because he's hoarding the loot? I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm talking about. I, I've never played an MMO, so I don't, I don't know what need and greed are. I can tell you, though, I, I don't think we want either of these right now. But we can upgrade Call It, set the coin or replenish. I'm a, I'm a coin setter. Maybe you're right. And gained upgrade five cards. We've completed another quest. Oh, need is a higher priority. Okay, my mistake. I'll clean up. You can go. Telomere doesn't hate us anymore, even though we, we shot them a couple of times. That's, that's wonderful news. Okay, the ambush was successful. Hello again. I have done your quest. You get paid 70 shills. And the graft reward. 10 max health. Fully charge gives 2 temporary power. Which is extra attack damage. Or gain 2 charge at the start of every battle. None of these seem that spectacular for me. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. But I'm like 30 shills could be anything. It could even be a spare magazine. Before Fleckfist can voice any more disapproval, Calandra enters the room. It's clear she's the leader by the way Fleckfist rolls back his shoulders, trying to undo years of backbreaking labor. Her eyes lock heavily on yours and she steps forward, fearless. Enough with the third degree, I want to meet the turncoat. Give us the room everyone, I'll take it from here. The room empties and you're left alone with an eager Calandra who turns to you with a glint in her eye. Nice to meet you face to face, Rook. I have to say, one day in the bog you've already made some progress. I have it on good authority, Philemo is very pleased. I, I right clicked and I skipped all the dialogue. Calandra was your true client all along, or so it might seem. What have I done? Okay, so this limited time opportunity, oh my god, man, it's crazy. A likely story. Dead drop. Leave a report of your grout bog activities in the dead drop. Yeah, I'm, I'm a mechanics guy myself. So it makes sense. But somebody asked, uh, what happens if you lose a fight? If you lose a negotiation, it doesn't really um, matter in all circumstances. Uh, if you lose a battle, I think that the consequences are greater, but fights will also give you like a little indicator before you start that this is like a do or a die uh, fight, where if you lose, you actually fail your run. Rook, they said you were dead. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do you a disservice. 
I'm going to do some right clicking in order to get to mechanics driven gameplay while well, we got a uh, hundred minutes left here in which to get past at least the first or second day. I would like you to tweak my pistols. Remember these? I could make a couple of in adjustments. I would like you to increase the amount of charged chambers. That way we get um, more defense passively. A girl's got to eat. Add one charge chamber or add two charge chambers. I'm nine away from being able to get two. Go ahead and give me one. Okay, I will, I will leave you then. Sheesh. Shovel's even better now. Okay, give me a quick little... Oh, I got ambushed. You come across a small cavern partly submerged in the bog. The entrance is swarming with nasty looking insects. Lose 11 HP, but you'll get some loot. I mean, come on. Give me the loot. Lost 11 HP, but gained a learning drone. Whenever you attack this target, draw a card. At the start of owner's turn, remove one scant. I have no idea, but that'll be, that'll be interesting once, once we see what happens when it hatches. Okay, take me to the dead drop. Oh, no. Okay, we... Uh, IG-88 wants to kill us. We can either defend ourselves. It's do or die. You can get away with murder here, or we can intimidate. Okay, we will... I'm gonna defend myself, even though this is, like, uh, Darth Maul. Um, because I can get away with murder here. He does have 90 HP. We're taking 8 damage. Okay, so let, use your brain. Step one. We love... Using the shovel. Okay, what, what is your ability? The first time you take damage every turn, you get two defense. At the end of every turn, get six defense and three power. But when your defense is broken, you lose your power. Okay, so it would be nice to cause you to lose your power. Whenever you attack a target, draw a card. I mean, that's really good. We should have done that earlier. Um, I'm, you know, we take six damage, we take six damage. It is what it is. We'll break your defense so you lose your power. Uh, gain six power and krilled up. Lose two power every turn. Lose ten health when it reaches zero. That's all right. Uh, for now, just give me, just give me the defense, man. I think we're gonna get him. <laughs> what the heck? A spark mine. When destroyed, does 8 damage to all fighters on the same team. It will return to the bog in 5 turns. Bro, why are you attacking this, though? Oh, because you're attacking everybody. Okay, so you're doing 8 damage. Spend a charge, deal 2 bonus damage. I would love to. As a result, we now will get 4 defend for free. Let's also apply... Let's improvise first. Spend all charge, deal one bonus damage per charge spent. I will do so, but should also draw a card because of the scanning bot. And now we are getting five defense. Which means, in my world, that means we don't have to play any defense this turn. Let's see if my math is correct on that one. It seems to be. Well done. Okay. We're taking 9 damage. We have 4 defense by default. This gives us extra defense. Let's draw 2 and gain some concentration. So we do have the ability to apply some wound to you, but I'm going to wait for a moment. Defend the dog. The dog has like 90 HP. 90%. You don't have to worry about it. It takes some damage. We'll, we'll give it an oil can when we get back to the base. I told you. Even myself, I don't mind if we take... Oh, you can't see the dog's HP. That makes sense. Don't don't worry about it. I probably You're, you're going to be fine. The dog has 34 or 40 HP. They're going to go down to 26. There's nothing to concern about. Here you go. Go ahead and take a wound. We're going to take one damage as a result of that. The dog is going to take less damage as a result. We got nothing to worry about. We need to do 47 damage to you. You're doing nothing this turn. 
No nothing immediately, at least, which is is very nice. Um, let's improvise. I would like to spend another charge to apply some wound to you. I'm gonna be honest, I think I'm just gonna kick you in the dang head. Take one of those and call me in the morning. Okay, we must hit you for 23 this turn. I don't know if it's gonna happen. You're gonna hit the mine? That's all right, the mine's not gonna die. You're taking 12. Can I do nine damage to you? I mean, 11 damage to you? Absolutely. We will kick you, we will blast you. Oh no! Do you have another counter? You do, okay. But you're surrendering, so end turn. Maybe, maybe we'll play this just to get Hatch going, and then end turn. Okay, he surrendered. Guess what? Get executed. Tough luck. How to get away with murder. Gain two green chevrons. Pick a battle card. On concentration, you attack twice. Whenever you spend charge... Oh, so this is like a permanent stat bonus. Whenever you spend charge, gain two defense per charge spent. Three is too expensive, though. Give me, give me attack twice on that one. A negotiation card. At the end of your turn... Just an unbelievable uh, bit of art on Foresight here. So good. Bean spread, by the way. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Foresight's art is unbelievable. I think we prefer Dead Draw, though, because Dead Draw can chain into itself as a result of that. Kick. Let's see what it gets here. Apply Ricochet. So it's better for AoE, or we can add Draw a card. Let's apply Ricochet. We, we haven't really had to deal with multiple targets yet, but maybe that means it's the perfect time to get involved with it. I just added a card. I don't even really know what it did. Gamble. You either gain 5 Influence or 4 Dominance and then expend. Totally fine with that. And plus 1 Resolve. That problem's dealt with. Pick a Graft Reward. At the start of your turn, reduce the cost of a random card by 1 until played. Gain one action at the start of your turn. All hostility cards are half as good. Gain one action at the start of your turn, but bystanders no longer assist you. I think I'm totally fine with that. Four actions per turn. No bystanders. I work better alone anyway. All right, we're almost done day one. Welcome to the black market. Convince Ban to let you in. Buy a membership for 100 shills. I, look... You're going to give me the opportunity for some free uh, experience here? I'm going to take it. Check this out. Uh, get dead drawn. And then I'm going to hit you for five. And I'm going to hit you for... There's probably a better way to do this. I'm going to set the coin to... This is important. <laughs> I'm going to set the coin to red briefly. Then I'm going to hit you here, gain some dominance, and then I'm going to gamble again. And it's going to set it to heads. And then I'm going to gamble again. We got five influence, at least it's another argument, and then we're going to set it to red just to do some extra damage to you. Probably could have done better, but that's good stuff. Okay, what do you got there? Intense and target previews are hidden. Well, wow, that would be, like, really bad if I wasn't going to just freaking destroy you right here. Probably. Maybe. Probably. Maybe. Never mind. We should have used the other rationale. I mean, that's just obvious, but... Oh, whatever. You're owned. Okay. Um... I'm, I'm happy with the size of my deck. This rationale is better. Foot Rationale. On Tails applies Composure to Friendly Arguments or Draw a Card. I'm a, I'm a Draw a Card man there, I think. Okay, they have given us Conditional Membership. Um, you sell Graphs. Negotiation, Battle Graphs, okay? I just want to see. What do you sell? Cards? 
I actually feel like, um, like if we remove, it's 10 shields to remove a card. That's incredible. Um, I feel like we should remove like a basic, like pleasantries, even though it's about to get upgraded, like is not that big of a deal. I think we could totally remove you or we could remove like the, the just basic composure. Because every time we can play this, like, it, it has a chance to give us composure anyway. But let, let's pull pleasantries out of here. And then remove a battle card. Uh, I don't think blast is doing too much for us. So let's let's remove a blast that's only been played once. That's that's huge. I don't feel the need to buy a card just yet. That's, that's insanely cheap. Let's look at some battle graphs, of which we have none right now. 260 shills, come on, man. Whenever you gain fully charged, gain three overcharge, attack damage is increased by two. Your allies receive two power when they join the battle. I'll take it. And then negotiation. At the start of each negotiation, discard up to two cards and draw that many new cards. It's actually pretty good. Much better chance for us to get dead draw. Or whatever it's called. Okay, that was that was a good trip to the black market in my world. Hebel has a room ready for you. Time to recharge. Why did why does it have to be a graph? You could just wear it. I suppose that's true. Do we need HP? Ten shills, but we do get bloated. I I'll buy it just in case we have to fight. So when you when you eat or drink to restore HP, you do get negative cards in your deck. But uh, after you sleep it off, they're gone. But sometimes you have to battle first. Yo, Smith unlocked. You've unlocked a new character. He's finally done it. We've survived day one. Your bed calls to you. Go to sleep. Okay, day one complete. I think we did a great day. Look at that. Continue. It's a great time to bring up. You know, we are about halfway through the sponsored segment today. Thank you to Clay for sponsoring this. You can type exclamation point Grifflands in chat. You get a link that will take you to where you can pick up the game for yourself. It just came out. It's 20% off. It's been in early access for a while. This is the 1.0 release. Uh, it's really, honestly, an incredible game. An ambitious fusion of, like, deck builder mechanics combined with, like, a rich character-driven RPG. There, there's kind of nothing else like it right now. It's, uh... It's a great time. I, my hunker down has leveled up because of the graph that I got. Anyway, thanks to Clay for the sponsorship to, to finish that off. Um, so let's, let's go level that up. Gain two overcharge or destroy. I have to be honest, as much as this seems like a, uh, a negative because we just leveled it up, I think that destroying this card to get it out of our deck makes, uh, makes it better over time. I would like to open my map, please. Where are we going today? Working both sides. Working both sides. Black market. Let, let's go with Calandra first. Let's try to build something there. Hesh spit. Oh, no. I'm, I'm infected, right? I forget. When you get, you get parasites, um, they give you pluses and minuses to have them. I don't know what you can do about it, though. I, I, I think this has killed me every time I've had it. We should invest in some bug spray, man. What the hesh? Excuse me. What the hesh is that that's going on out there? What the hesh is that that's going on out there? What brings you back? I do want to do your dirty work some more. Asset liberation. Battle and negotiation. Pick a graft. 100 shills. 100 shills is like infinite items for me because of all of my... Uh, Fiduciary advantages right now. Take me to asset liberation. Now I, I am skipping over a lot of the story stuff here, so I apologize. But I, I'm a I'm a mechanics Marty. If you're a story Steve, you know obviously there's a lot for you to like here as well. I I just love playing the cards, man. I just love playing the cards. I could share a drink with you, but instead, I, I proceed with the quest. Get me out of debt, then I'll take you to the cash. I could force you. It's an intimidation attempt. 
I could beat it out of you? You seem pretty strong. What? Um, I will use my negotiation deck. I'm not scared. Look at, look at this intimidation, man. Okay. So right at the start, we get to discard some cards uh, in order to draw that many. I would like to. I would like to get rid of these two to draw. Dude, I love that it explains why you're discarding the cards as well. I would love to draw deep dive. We didn't get it. It happens. But we uh, draw a card for a dollar. Draw a card. We still didn't get it. That's okay. Uh, I will put ourselves always bet on snails here to do some extra damage. And I'll apply some composure, and then I'll just keep Decisive Call it in our hand, because we can use it next turn. Gotta go. Thanks for the stream. No no problem. Thanks for being here for the, the morning section. Okay, here's our dead draw. This one's close to leveling up. We drew Stem. When this card is drawn, increase the cost of a random card in your hand until the end of the turn. On playable Parasite. Okay. We can remove it from our deck, but it'll lower maximum health by 10. Could be worth it to just avoid it, but... Um, might as well start with a little war story, which will give us 5 influence. All diplomacy cards deal maximum damage. That we should have gotten rid of the rigging first, for sure. We should have played the other dead draw first. Anyway, we're not taking damage, so this is fine. Um, we'll, we'll play dead draw anyway, try to get it to level up. We didn't get the reward we were looking for, so it was kind of a dead draw. But the intimidation's still working. Yeah, Toasty, no, no math in chat, okay? Like, hey, we're trying. This isn't school, okay? This is we're trying to have fun here. Come on. I'm just joking, as you know. But um, okay, hold on. Propaganda rationale now becomes free. Guess what? It now also becomes leveled up. C consider yourself set to. The side of snails. I will then hit you. And just to be safe, I will give myself some composure so we don't take damage. It gave composure to a random argument. I forgot because we have random arguments. We're not always giving the composure to our core argument anymore. Right, right, right. Okay. In, when you're intimidating, you should use red cards first. Otherwise, it, it gets rid of the debuff on them. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. So hold on. We're going to start with a dig. I think we want to we want to get that out of there and it'll overrun your core argument. That that was great for us. That's good intel. Um we have 6 energy, so dead draw seems very playable. We're fishing for heads and we got it. Um because we got it, I feel like you can totally just play another dead draw. We didn't get heads that time, but that's okay. We still have 2 energy remaining. We are about to take 5 damage. Let's apply three composure, draw a card. And then... Hit heads. It hit tails. This is a betrayal on levels never before seen. It's alright, we're just getting psychologically whittled. I, you know, I'm, I'm used to facing some psychological uh, pain when I uh, try to get people to join a multiplayer lobby, so this is not that rare for me. For zero con- well, you, you play red cards first, if possible. What do we destroy, though? These are actually helpful. So I think- we have four energy? Let's start with our, our red card. Then, free composure. This at least means that you'll die, but I won't take any run-on damage. Then we'll try our- a uh, dead draw that we can get to upgraded. Draw two cards and then gamble. You're not upgraded yet. Okay. The gamble has failed. Life goes on. This is taking a while. We need we need some more direct damage. Clearly. Too too many propagandas. I mean, like, look at how many arguments she's got over there. Oh my God! What have I done? We we have too many propagandas. We now have no cards in our deck that do anything. <laughs> Composure, please. Um, composure. My man's getting tired. It's okay, we'll flourish soon. We'll flourish soon.
No more propagandas. <sighs> okay, uh, propaganda to trickery. Trickery gives us inspiration. Incept the fluster. We'll, we'll do draw this card, draw this card. Get rid of this propaganda. Okay, we're, we're getting there. Might as well propaganda the blank here. Apply three composure, draw a card. Decisive, call it. Um, we'll, we'll start with our gamble. The gamble has failed us once more. There you go. We're, we're taking two damage, but we did some damage as well. We're five away from being able to flourish. I should have destroyed those propagandas by taking out the arguments. Instead, I'm, I'm eating it here. You, you're, you're, you're starting to convince me, I gotta say. Propaganda. Gain one dominance. Please. Please. That's not how that works. <laughs> I'm taking eight damage. No, 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 no. It's like a, we're, we're watching a Reddit argument. I'm, I'm being milled down here. My resolve is falling. Jan doesn't even respond to that. Okay, get owned. Guess what? You're owned. We can dead draw first. No, actually, like, let's just not and say we did. Prepare to apply. No, no, no. Prepare. No, no, no. Attack two random arguments. No, no, no. Give me the shills. Rational and dead draw leveled up. Literally, it's just cheaper and then the coin uh, face. So we'll, we'll take heads because we get the fixes for it. Apply three composure. Apply two. Okay. Apply five composure is pretty potentially sick. All right. Convince Jay the What's wrong? Then you got to use your wiles or whatever. I need to get to my next shift before the truancy officer comes looking for me. Are you, are you kidding me? You want me to try to convince you again? <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I'm doing it. I don't care. If, if you want to if you wanna game over me for this, go ahead. I'm not afraid. This time I've learned. I've learned. Maybe. Okay, start me here. We have our flourishes ready, too. Pale dead draw. Draw two cards, then gamble. Here we go. Get gambled on. Consider your coins set to tails, which then makes this free. Get owned. Okay, we got two energy remaining. Uh, on gamble, we do bonus damage. Check one of these on for size. Um, and then... Uh, no, no, no. We don't, we don't want to play this yet. It, it doesn't matter. We could flip the coin a lot. Um... I don't think it really benefits us yet. We can use it like at the start of next turn. The barons will suck you dry. Uh, again, is that a promise? Okay, we no longer have rigging, but that's okay. Start with the dead draw. This would be a huge heads. It's tails. Um, this would be a huge heads. It's heads. Okay. Set the coin. Well, let's start with Improvise. Flustered means you do less damage. I'm, I'm willing to do that. Please, please. Okay, less damage is obviously good for us. Kill the propaganda. There we go. We're, we're, we're starting to figure it out. Now, I'm going to flourish on you because I can. We're going to gamble five times. Okay, get extremely owned, and then we'll keep these in our deck, because we can use them next turn. I take no damage, and I, I fear nothing. You're doing four damage to me. Irrelevant. This card costs zero. We love it. Oh, we should have used dominance first, but that's okay. We'll hit you again. Yeah, we should have used dominance first, but, but it is what it is. Heads would be awesome here. It's tails. It's, I'm not sweating it, you know. If you could do me a favor and go heads. And if you could do me a favor and go heads so we get guaranteed defense next turn. I told you we could do this easily. Gain two actions, draw a card for each friend you have in the rise. Okay, um, I would like heads, please. 
easiest play of my life. I don't have anything yet that sets the coin. I choose to just smack you. Honestly, I choose to just smack you. We're taking a little damage here. Am I okay with that? We could push a little harder. We'd really like to not lose HP, though. Dude, 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 dude. Okay, I'm going to be a complete coward. Full coward strats. We could have done this so much better. This, this, <laughs> this was a poor play. Whatever, give me five dominance. Okay, whatever. Give me five influence. It do, did, why are we doing so much better this time than last time, even though you have so much more HP this time? Oh, because we learned something? I'll be the judge of that. This is already free. It's amazing. Destroyed. Uh, get gambled on? Gambling failed, but, but no harm, no foul. We are taking six damage, but we have five energy. I don't think I can quite kill you. So we're just gonna we're just gonna flip it. Oh wait, wait hold on. You have you have intimidate? No, you have impatience. Okay. Dude, we're building up our next flourish as well. This is a long argument. Have you ever considered just yelling louder than them? <laughs> I uh Pre that's pretty saucy, Walt. Wait, how does it go? I forgot. Anyway, your your owns. We should have leveled up our cards first. Yeah, we can just block them on Twitter. That would be easier. Uh, another dead draw. Come on. It's getting to be a little bit too much. On the other hand... No, it's too much. Spend all dominance. Gamble and deal two damage to a random opponent argument for every dominance spent. I'm just going to be honest with... I'm I'm taking it. I'm I'm going pure loco strats. We do want more bonus damage. Like we need to do more damage. At least we I I I just realized by the way, I went through all of that to just get uh, another party member when party members don't even help us in uh negotiations anymore. But they do help us in battles. Which we could do here. Player advantage plus one action. Okay. So if we concentrate, we apply wounds. Kickoshay. <laughs> Who's taking? I'm taking all the damage right here. Come on. Okay, here's the deal. Who's scarier here? You're easier to kill. So we're gonna we're gonna scan you. Get scanned. We're gonna hit you with a quick kickoshay. She has a bazooka. Spend a charge and deal bonus damage. If we spend a charge, it will not only hit you, we'll draw a card, but then also on top of that, we'll get two extra defense. I gotta try. Oh, we drew our Parasite. Whenever this card is drawn, take one damage. It's not that big of a deal, but still. Mm. Checking out the window for a sec. Two bonus damage per empty cell. I think you... You can definitely start there. You need to take 10 more damage to surrender. Um, we'll concentrate. That's an adequate draw. On concentration, we attack twice. Two damage and you will surrender. But you're about to take nine. So I think we should just hit you. And concentration, it halves when you take enemy damage. Yo, we're going... Let's go hard on concentration. Let's draw. And then we'll, we'll get even more concentration for our next turn. Okay, there's your surrender. I don't care if you shoot these minions. Like, the dog I'd prefer if you didn't, but... <laughs> um... Concentrated equals... Okay, I, this was stupid. There was no reason to actually uh, do concentrate stacks. You're not hitting me, so I don't mind. Let's hatch this thing. It is now a combat drone that fights for us. That's amazing. Maybe? Let's see. It's, it's, it's doing something, at least. 
Concentrated apply to wound, for sure. That's what we're gonna do. One second, I just gotta, I gotta, I gotta open the door for a moment. I'll be back in just a sec here. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Daniel, for the raid. Thank you. It's not its not a chair stream. I've been live for two hours. There were there were 15 seconds where I was away from the the computer, but it's, it's, it's welcome nonetheless. Okay, I'm just... We need to... We have zero energy. We passed the turn. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. That's what they all say. It's like Alanis Morissette said, right? It's like a raid on your bathroom break. You're already gonna surrender. I'm taking no damage. I think we just play for, for defense. Or for, for upgrades, I should say. Yote shot. Literally doesn't matter. Just play for more uh, upgrades. Crank has literally like never been played. I don't know, you're, I don't know what I want to attack. Because I'm worried I'm accidentally going to kill you. Like, you're dying, man. Well, get cranked on. Get hunkered. And then pass turn. Yo, this dog is... You just shot him all with the bazooka. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> no, I do not. I accept your surrender. I do not kill you. Collect the shills, thanks for the extra psychic power. Apply burn equal to damage dealt by this card. Okay. Yo, burn is good AoE, but it halves every turn. You can break the Geneva Convention in Grifflands. Spend one charge to gain two actions, expend. This is incredible. That's just the easiest choice of my life. And we got a shock core. The Baron breaks and runs for the trees. Take take the offer or refuse the offer. Hold on. There's contraband. I refuse the offer. Handing out guns is a surefire way to get shot in my experience. Jand has left our party. Who cares? We we psychologically dominated them. Take me back to asset liberation. I don't know what she is. She's trying to give all this contraband to just randoms. If nobody wants it, I'll take these random weapons. Random! Um, I'm, I'm not gonna narc on Jant. I'm gonna cover for her, because I don't want her to hate us, and we receive, like, a debuff as a result. That's not worth 50 shills in my world. Every time you prepare, gamble. Whenever you fully charge, gain 3 overcharge, or gain 10 max health. We're going to take Robustify, just because, like, finally they've given us a situation where there's no real uh, benefit to the alternative. A comfort to see you again. All right, I will do your dirty work once more. A focus on battle. We need Kikla dead. I, ju I, just, uh, I just saved them in the last episode, didn't I? Or the last, uh, the last day? Well, they dislike us anyway, so nothing of value is lost. I see you're still alive. Get confronted. We could bully you into leaving town, or we could just ice you. I gotta be honest. Get iced. When you murder a member of the Rise, lose two max resolve. I don't murder too many members of the Rise, and also I don't think your debuff's gonna apply for too much longer. So we're already taking no damage because of uh, our empty charges, so... Here's a little combat drone for you. Let's just get leveled up. Let's level up some cards. Gain two concentration, draw a card. Oh, baby. And on concentrated, attack twice. 
increases minimum damage of all your attacks by two. Hold on. Well, it's just good. Get hit two times. Hate debuffs stay even if you kill them? Are you telling me somebody could hate you so much that they're, they're basically they're haunting you from beyond the grave? The next attack on this fighter does double damage and removes a defect. Wow, we are getting hit for 14. That's kind of serious. Spending a charge is always good, though. It gives us extra defense. So right now, we're taking 10 damage. This literally just gives us charge. So I guess I guess we'll hunker. I gotta be honest. We should have smacked you first with this, but... We're, we're gonna take a pretty nasty hit here. We're gonna get hit for 7, I think. Yeah, I don't know. The wound might have done it there. Might have saved us. Gunsmoke is freaking sick, though. Spend a charge, gain two actions. So that also gives us extra defense. Um, you're hitting me again. We need to hit you for 14. Beautiful. Get shoveled. Surrender. Oh, right, I gotta ice you, right? Uh, get owned. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Viren hates us, though. All allies start battle with additional panic. Panic? He does. I don't even know who you are, dude. Lobot? Apply Ricochet equal to the damage dealt by this card. Three defense, three concentration. Three defense per enemy targeting you. I think I think three defense, three concentration. That's that's that compels me. Rise manifesto. Incept five. Indoctrination. This is a lot of text. Replenish, destroy after two uses. When destroyed, gain one dominance per stack. At the end of each turn, gain one influence. Reduce this argument by one. I gotta be honest. That's it's a lot of reading, which makes me feel like you skip it. <laughs> Incept five. So we, we put five of these in our opponent's argument. When we destroy it, we gain the dominance from each one we destroy. So this seems like a good thing to put in, and then if you had an AoE, you could ice them. Dominance is good, so being able to have that is nice. But it also gives us influence if we don't destroy it, which we don't care about. And it replenishes, so when it's drawn, we draw another card. I guess there is, like, no downside. Except the being forced to read on occasion. <laughs> it's just an essay card where when someone... At Friday Night Magic's, uh, Magic, if somebody plays that against you, you just, they go, you want to read it? You go, nah, I just I take your word for it. I'm here to get paid. 175 shills, my word. Um, gain one wine at the start of negotiation. At the end of owner's turn, this argument gains one resolve. So it's basically just an extra target. I'll, I'll take the six max resolve for now instead. And it's nighttime, baby. Hire guide for an expedition into the bog. Enfeebling ray. Go ahead, go ahead. Hire me as a guide. You there? Are you looking for the opportunity of a lifetime? Yes. I don't... I'm, I'm more about bleed, not so much about read. Each step sinks deeper into the bog. It's all you can do to keep walking forward. Weary. When drawn, lose one action. That's, like, pretty bad. But I guess we're exhausted. Keep going or abandon them. I keep going. I never leave a job half done unless it's pressure wash simulator. I will defend myself against the feral auto dogs. I think our battle deck is pretty good. I'm, I'm not sweating that. We are also about to flourish. I would like the drone to be summoned. We're not going to take damage. I choose to kill the unit that is attacking our dog. Which led to us getting counterattacked now that I see it. What, what is our flourish? Hits all enemies for 8. Yo, I am a genius? Look at that. I saved us. You're welcome, by the way. Pick a battle card. 
We don't like overcharge. We don't like scorched. What the heck is empty? This card has an additional effect if you have no charge. Imply one impair. Attack damage by this target is reduced by 33%. I honestly think we could possibly make that work. But I'm also happy where we stand. Replenish, piercing, destroy after one use. Just does five damage. Add them in. Time to carry on. You've come to yet another identical clearing. Juke's mind has succumbed to the bog. Leave Juke to her riches where she will love you. Hold on. If she loves us, we don't know. We don't know what she's going to do if she loves us. Or we could just get some money. Yo. Take your riches. And then... 20 shield discount! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Everything's free, man. Everything's free. Okay, go go ahead. Take me to the black market briefly. Oh, we're, we got ambushed along the way. Ask about metal. Gained five metal. What the heck is metal? A unique measure of rook skill and experience. It can be exchanged for permanent upgrades from a metal vendor. Let's go. What do you do? Your oh, your cards. Do you you don't do anything, okay. And your graphs, okay. I'm I'm kinda like we, we could definitely use a battle graft. At the end of each turn, gain four defense and three counter if all your cells are empty. I can't really justify that right now. After every eighth card played, gain two temporary power. When you spend your last charge, draw a card. I mean I wish that I like trench knife more than I do. How about this? Whenever you discard a card, deal two damage to a random argument. Whenever you prepare a card, deal two damage to a random argument. Insert a conductor into your hand. Yuck, dude. Yuck. Okay. Um, here's what I'm thinking. Actually, what if I can just remove my parasite cards, even though chat will be very upset? You'll lose 10 max health? I don't sweat it. Get rid of it. Remove my stem card, please. HP is looking a little light, I'll admit. But at least we don't have to deal with bloat anymore, which will make us less, li less likely to take damage over time. And then buy cards. These are very cheap. <laughs> Apply two fixed. Whenever this target is hit, you gain two defense. Apply two scanned. When this card is drawn, gain one action and expend. Unplayable. Discard your hand. Draw five cards. Expend. Hmm. I would like a graph slot. You lose 15 HP, though. <laughs> Whatever. Go ahead. Lost 15 HP. <laughs> We've really done really poorly on our HP so far. Um, but it, health is a resource. It's that simple. Whenever you prepare... It's okay, so we don't even want any of these, but I'm, I'm happy to at least have it. My man is about to, buy, uh, to die in the shop. I agree, actually. Let, let's take Spotty on this. Because I, I think we, we draw enough that it'll... It'll serve as like a hedge against uh, our deep dive or whatever it's called. Metal vendor? Hello. Unlock flourishes. I want to learn something new. Okay, we don't have enough. This is so cool. This wasn't in the game last time I played. For 15, discard any number of cards, then draw cards until your hand is full. For the rest of this negotiation, gamble once after every card. Oh my god. Oh, these are the upgraded versions. I see, I see. Yo, that's that's super cool. I think I should uh, upgrade my maximum health. Just because I just lost some as well. I'm, I'm willing to go for that. Alright. We're almost on day two here. We, we may still be able to finish a run by the time the segment ends. I think it's possible. 
Well, this will give us metal. Dude, there's so many mechanics here. We are going to have to go, like, mighty fast through the dialogue, though. I apologize. Um, banded babysitter. Ask about the job, always. Ask for details. Then don't pay attention to them. I will head for the bog with you. I'll follow at a distance. You do whatever you gotta do, okay? I will just continue to play cards with, with the, to the best of my abilities. Take me back out here. Yeah, metal, it looks like when you use metal to uh, upgrade things, they're permanently upgraded for like the rest of the... Uh, like every time you play as that character from that point onwards. Almost like Rogue Legacy style. Convince Kuga you have a lead on a big score or attack the whole bandit camp. Um, on this one, we'll probably, we'll probably take the one that doesn't result in our death. We do have a dead draw, which I've been calling Deep Dive, I realize now. This is actually awesome for us. Let's, let's get rid of, uh, let's get rid of these two for now. Okay. Twisted Dig, right off the bat. Heavy good. Heavy good. Seven damage. Also extremely good. I don't think we're going to kill you, but I think we're going to get mighty close. I will set the coin to Tails and hit you. I'll hit you. I guess we could have played the Dominance first, as usual. Draw two cards, expend. We'll start there. I was hoping we would draw the one that would give us an action, but, but mission failed. Anyway, we have six composure already, so I'll just do one extra damage. I mean, you're you're toasted. We we have like an overpowered negotiation deck, I think here. So this gets destroyed after two uses. The question is, do we have to use it now? I think the answer is potentially no. Heads, that's tails, unfortunately. I think we should set it to heads then. Which allows us to hit you for, for five, for zero cost. Let's just take some composure. Let's take some, let's take some more composure. Dead draw. Heads, that's tails again. Okay, well, life goes on. You know what? Get this out of here. I don't want to see it. Always with the dead draw, man. We could use a card that would that would rig things for us. That that would help out a lot. We're taking seven damage. That's that's pretty bad. I would like the composure. It's gotta hit heads though. What do you do when a hostility card is played? Increase stacks by. Imagine you're trying to sell insurance and a guy just come by, comes by and flips five coins at you. I mean, I'd be scared. Lucky me. I, I would be, I would be frightened. I think. No, I don't. I don't have ninety percent heads coin. I, I opted out of that one to take, uh, to take cool frog coin instead. Get, get destroyed just because I can destroy you. You cost zero. Please be heads. Tails. <laughs> Whatever, you're dead. Okay, but in addition to being dead, we could probably get something close to leveling up. Beautiful. Yeah, and then be dead. All right. Yeah, who needs probability? Just flip better. We have taken our victory medal. On tails, deal two damage to all opponent arguments. I gotta be honest, I think that I'm realizing some AoE would be mighty helpful. Improvise plus. Or choose better cards. I, I take better cards over a wider spread. That's my two cents. Again, threaten or attack. I mean, that's a lot of enemies. And Juke actually loves us right now. Is that correct? Yes. I don't want to lose the discount by attacking them. So I think instead I'll just threaten you again. We really need dead draw, man. Come on. 
We love this. We don't care for this. I feel like we're not... Dominance would be good. Okay, okay so let's maybe maybe give it a try. I want my dead draw. I want my treasure chest. Okay, five influence that we don't care for. Three composure that does nothing for us next turn. How many... I guess we do have 16 cards. What the heck? You cost me... You cost me a bunch of shills. So we still have one rig, but this is huge. Okay, so now we're in heads. Gain five bonus damage. No, I will destroy you. This does add a gamble in at the front of it. We got very lucky. I will never pay you the shills that you seek. Little unlucky on that one, but we've been lucky like in every other capacity up to this point. So, uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna dead draw again just because I wanted to level up. Improvise from a pool of better cards. Draw two cards, discard a card, incept two flustered, expend. I'm gonna do this just to make it so like I don't have to worry about you quite as much. You're gonna do less damage as a result. I will then set the coin. Make myself safe. I gotta figure out a way to do damage at some point, though. You know what? Guess what? I lost five shills to do that. Five shills for two damage. We gotta find a way to hurt enemies more. We're, we're getting a lot of cards played, but that's it. Okay, Spotty's wonderful. Now we have five energy, but no cards. <laughs> Thanks for the composure. We should have done this in the opposite direction. Yeah, it failed us. Um... At least we bodied you? What did we get here? Card draw. Draw one extra card at the start of your turn. Pay 15 shills? This guy's... He's a nightmare. If you end your turn with this card, take 8 damage. Take 8 damage. Here's how we do this. First off, we set this to heads. Then we smack you. We absolutely dead draw and flip heads. It's just that easy. Three composure draw a card. It's just that easy. Set the coin. Set the coin to uh, tails for bonus damage. Pale dead draw again and flip heads. It's just that easy. Um... I, I gotta pay it. I, I hate to do it. I gotta pay it. It's I mean, money is not as valuable to us as some other things here. I mean, I, I hope we get our money back when we destroy him, which is like happening momentarily, but I, I really doubt we do. Two cards then gamble. Heads, please. I'm not a coward. Heads, please. Yeah, no, no coin has ever flipped the same thing two times in a row. Just ask Dan. Now, uh, heads, please. Except that time. Um, we're getting we're getting smacked a little bit here. I I hate that I'm doing this for the record, but I mean this is is gonna bankrupt me. Let's see if we can lethal him. We could we could easily lethal him. Okay, it only cost us like our whole our whole stack. But we got one medal, which is worth an infinite amount. Gamble twice on evoke. Pre oh, you prepare a card, you play it for free. Unplayable expend. Not worth anything for us. I decline. Give me some of my money back, please. Continue hitting me with this with the sweetest dead draw of all time. And uh Sure, I'll take four composure. We need damage. Desperately, please. Please. We're in public. I can't fight you, because if I fight you, the person who loves me might start to hate me. We have a dead draw. We have a pale dead draw. Get out of here. I can't believe I'm, I'm still doing this. Okay. Start with pale dead draw is going to be huge for us here. And we still have another rigging. So let's pale dead draw you again. Okay. Then we will gamble. Please be heads. Unlucky. We'll gamble. 
We'd like it to be Tails. Unlucky. <laughs> War Story. Very lucky. That's that's insanely good for us. Another dead draw. Heads, please. Unlucky. We're not taking damage, so I pass turn. Oh, it was self-defense. You wouldn't have faced any trouble. That's why I gotta stop skipping the dialogue. Okay, red cards do more damage now. So even though this is one energy, we don't sweat it. We're happy to do it. Quick pale dead draw. Beautiful. Set the coin, possibly get some bonus damage. I will. We also have a flourish available. You see he's powered up. He has his ultimate weapon. We don't have to use it though because we'll just flip heads. We flip tails. We don't have to use it though because we're just going to flip heads. We have flipped heads. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how we play this now. No. Gamble first. And then put the composure on yourself. And if it fails, which it did, that's okay. Because then we get the bonus damage this way. And our dominance gets even better. Then we set the coin to this so we don't take damage. We set the coin to this so we don't take damage. I'm not owned. I'm not owned. And we only have to hit you for seven. Which is, like, extremely easy, I think. Start with a gamble. Why not? Gambles, it, they come with an advantage for us. And then we'll just destroy you. He's the greatest player of all time. Deal max damage on heads? I, I like this deck. Wait, we need more damage, though. <laughs> Literally every time, I'm like... Uh, I don't need it. It makes my deck worse. Oh, we do need more damage, though. My mistake. Okay. I will tell you what happened. Kuga hates us, by the way. Status cards cost more in battle. That's fine. Uh, excuse me. This is self-defense. I'm being attacked. Are you... Are you Kuga? Kuga, I thought we were friends. Now I gotta, I gotta kill you. Well, Weary is just terrible, man. It's just bad luck. We are going to get hit for 12 right off the bat. Um, but I'll summon a combat drone on turn one. That doesn't bother me. And then, honestly, just give me some extra defense. I, You know, we don't have a whole lot of HP to go around, unfortunately. So go ahead, hit me. I, I'm not going to sweat it too much. We are bleeding. Bleed cards no longer expend. Play this card to return gun smoke to your hand. You've stolen one of my best cards. They're they're going hard on me. So you know what? We're about to get krilled up. We need that extra damage. Shovel is going to do 14. So who's attacking me? You're attacking me for 9 and a status. You're attacking me for 11. We have to do 41 damage to you if possible. Piercing destroy after one use. Apply one ricochet. Piercing destroy after one use. Piercing destroy after one use. Okay, hold on. Step one, start by being owned. 27 damage required. Get owned. I still have to do 16 damage to you. Okay, two power cores. Should... Should... Should ice you? Should take you out? Now we're only taking five damage. I can live with that. Less than one damage, even better. Three, two, three. Like I, I'm, I'm taking a little more damage than I'm happy with. Don't get me wrong. 68. What do you need? You need 11 to surrender. But that's actually 17. Give me defense and concentration. I'll improvise. I was just going to say hopefully something with some defense associated. On concentration, attack twice. Are you attacking me? No, you're attacking me, but there's not much I can do about it. Maybe I can... If I help my dog out, maybe we'll be in a better spot. Okay. Well, I think we're going to need a meal after this one. 
Because we... Oh my god. <laughs> we, got, we got some nastiness in our hands. No doubt about that. You're not attacking me this turn, which is a nice change of pace. Blast will level up. Yeah, I think we improvise. And then just blast you. I have 11 HP. That's a scary thought. Um, excuse me? You've, you've re-entered the battle? Well, six damage and you're out, so check this out. You're out of the battle again. Panic plus three. You gotta take 23 damage. Hey, did you ever think, like, maybe my teammates could actually do, like, some attacking and, and cause this creature to surrender? Um, and as a result, we wouldn't uh, be in such a dangerous position here? I gotta level with you. You'll pay for that scumbag? Wrong answer. <laughs> you almost take me out. I'm not... Oh, 20 shields stolen from you. When did that happen? Take them both. Battle upgrade the blast. I'm sending them to the Shadow Realm. They, they had their chance. We don't really want charges. Draw is a little better for us, I think. Give me the shields. You're starting to get a reputation for violence. Um, they almost killed me. Alta loves you. Status cards cost one less action. Here's your payment. 155 shills. Here's your graft. Whenever you gain charge, gain two defense. That actually seems like maybe mission critical right now. And it is the night time. Um, you have six metal. The man's got ice in his veins. I will... Um, you know what? For the future... If we could start the game with 10 additional shills, sounds great to me. Purchase three metal points? Are you insane? Can I... What do, for flourishes, I still... Yeah, we can't afford anything yet. I didn't like what the black market had on, uh, on display there. Oh, don't... Come on, don't ambush me. Oh, wait, we're cool. <laughs> Ask what the problem... Doesn't Urbla love us? No, she doesn't like us. Scare them away. Leave them to sort out their differences. I, I'm going to leave you to sort out your differences today. Because I got to get the heck out of here. Otherwise, I will I will die. Uh, obviously. Fleckfist knows you're working with the Barons and is blackmailing you. Oh, my God. Set out for the bog. You need me to go kill a killer robot? I, I can't do this, man. I'm going to get owned. Okay, but buy a, I'll buy a meal so I don't die. But it does give me bloated, which is horrible. Go to your room. I have to I have to go out to the map, right? Like we're still I gotta go to system debogging. <laughs> you need to go shut that robot down. Yes, please give me some fighters. I need help. Receive support. Start battle with any supporters you've won to your side. Oh, we need to like kill arguments to get supporters, I think. Let's get rid of that. That's scary. Okay, hold on. Spotty's lovely. Okay. We could get a potential ally, the Cobble Dog. We can get a potential ally, Bite Code, and a potential ally, Madu. Let's start with the... Uh, let's start with the Cobble Dog. Heads, please. Well, it guaranteed now that I think about it. Give me some composure, draw a card. Unstable, draw a card, play it with a random target. This will end the negotiation. Well, um, mission failed on that one. Head split seems very good. <laughs> now, <laughs> I didn't get to kill any of the arguments, but thanks for the free medal. Hey, we already got a companion anyway. We got this cool dog. This man has a rocket leg. Auto mech boss bit. The boss bit? You mining bet coins, you little boss bet? Apply wound, 50% chance to destroy card. 
It has been destroyed. But in robots, I'm assuming, cannot be wounded? What are you doing? You're, you're setting up next turn. This sounds like when the levy breaks. You ever notice that? Destroy, sleep it off. Concentration is good, but let, let's thin our deck out a little bit by getting rid of the garbage. Uh-oh. Um, who's attacking me? That's the big question. You're attacking me? Get destroyed. Spend a charge, gain two actions. More defense for us for the future as well. Apply three bleed, destroy after two uses. Let's be honest. These robots aren't going to bleed, but that's okay. Apply eight defense, hunker down. Dude, it gets destroyed. Okay, our deck's getting better. Our deck's getting better. And we even put defense on the dog. So don't tell me I never did nothing for you. That's a great animation. Oh my god. Okay, weary. When drawn, lose an action. Guess what? You cost zero now. Who's getting attacked? Dog's getting attacked for six. I really doubt that you're going to get wounded. I, I can't find a way to deal damage to you. <laughs> deal five damage to yourself. Apply stun. Could I, could I save the dog for a turn? That, that was my game plan. There we go. Okay, everybody's taking damage this turn. We do have concentration. We could easily attack twice. Let's start there. We've at least taken out the defense. Quick little ammo pouch. Spend all charge. I actually really like spending all charge because it gives us more defense to begin with. Uh, although I guess we should have played hair trigger first. One action remains. Feels bad, man. That's okay. We're, we're close. We're close to our flourish. I don't think we're going to die, but I think this will take us forever because we have, like, no kill card. I would like more concentration and then to smack you, which will not apply a wound. And then get out of my deck, please. And then pass turn. You're half dead. Come on with this. What the heck is that that's going on out there? More concentration is always good for us. Almost always good for us. <laughs> we have eight concentration. Why does this still do five to five then? I guess I guess it still is bounded by the upper maximum. That, that makes sense, I'll admit. Let's improvise real quick. Maybe we'll get something cool. Spend all charge, deal bonus damage for each charge spent. Don't mind if I do. This is going to take 100 years. Our auto dog may also die in the process. I don't really care about the bot. Like, that's not a huge problem for me, but the auto dog is serious. Ricochet seems mighty important. Although it does reduce ricochet afterwards. Okay, so you're dying. You're dying. You're not dying. So get killed. Our allies attack first. I'm being hit for seven. Some defense would be nice, but we don't have that, so... Instead, I will shoot you twice for no reason, and then shoot you one more time for no reason. And our flourish is two away. This is our chance. High constant. Okay, start here. Lots of damage. The bot's taking some damage. We don't really care, honestly. Apply to Mark. Mark gives you more charges. We don't care. Give us two concentration. I do have to say, um, although we have our flourish, I feel like doing eight damage to all units is like a terrible 
flourish to use against one enemy who's just very strong. So I'm hopeful that maybe we can just ice him instead. Get Ricochet on, I suppose. The music is, has gone into top gear. Don't summon any dogs. Oh my, okay. Well, at least we didn't do it last turn. Because now... We can hit all enemies for eight. Nobody's dying. <laughs> Always spend charge. That's a big one. I don't think this robot's gonna surrender. Okay, I was wrong. Our bot has died. Or it will die due to burn damage next turn. I don't know if that removes it from our deck, but it actually might. Come on. We have to do 10 extra damage. But I can't do it. <laughs> Just to level up our cards. Okay, 16 damage, please. I still don't know if it's doable. Spend the charge. Oh, yes, okay. Spend the charge to add impair. Now you're doing less damage. Please, we've done it. Finally. Look at what we got. Five metal, one metal. One resolve. New battle card, Screamer. Summon an auto dog. Absolutely. A new battle card. We desperately need damage? All of your attacks are piercing? That actually could be worth something. Negotiation card. At the end of your turn, rig heads. Very good for us. And plus amazing art. Ammo pouch levels up. Upgrade what we get from ammo pouch. Hair trigger. Spend two charges. Way better. Okay, okay. He's actually... Pick a graft reward. Gain one action at the start of your turn. Enemies don't panic. Gain one action at the start of your turn. Take three damage at the end of every turn. Gain one damage at the start of your... Gain one action at the start of your turn. Battle card upgrades with multiple upgrades now have one option fewer. Honestly, I think I can take the three damage, as insane as that sounds. Because health is a resource. The clock is a piece, dude. The clock is a piece. Fleckfist is indifferent towards you. I will rest in the back. I think we have completed day two. Unless we get ambushed overnight. Okay. It's a great time to point out. We're through day two. This is a sponsored segment. We might... I think it goes till day four, right? We might be able to finish this in the next 25 minutes if we put the rush in and we actually do some damage. Go ahead and check it out. Thank you to Clay for the sponsorship. Exclamation point Grifflands in chat to check it out for yourself. Obviously, like what you're seeing right here is also a robust uh, game. It's taken us a while to get through a run because it's got it's a rich narrative RPG experience in addition to being a deck builder. However, there's also two other characters. And then each character, including the one we're playing right now, has different ways that you can approach this main quest line and, of course, side quests uh, and, and stuff like that. So... I mean, you're, you're, we're briefly scratching the surface. I guess we'll gain a charge off of it. That's pretty bad, though. This is the best we've ever done with Rook. But thanks again to, uh, to Clay for the sponsorship. And uh, it, it did just come out of early access. It's 20% off for its launch week sale. The sale shot. You've received instructions to give a bundle of intelligence to one of your contacts. That's fine. Yeah, I, I do apologize for the... Uh, the lack of reading dialogue, but I, I also have to say in my own defense, like if we read all the dialogue, we would complete about 30% of the game. <laughs> or 30% of this run in three hours. Um, okay, so they would they would like us to help them. We have to load the cargo and I'll pay you 90 shills. Ask for more money or agree. I agree. You see Rasma reaching for her weapon. A fight is about to break out. Um... I'm going to convince you to look the other way on this one. Guaranteed. We don't really care to deal damage to all your arguments right now. That's very good. That's very good. Okay, get rid of that. Oh, baby. 
Okay, here's how you do it. Draw a card, random target. Well, that's uh, obviously going to target us, which is awesome. Although we screwed up one of our rigs, that's okay. That's free. This is free. And we have enough composure. Please do rig. I guess we choose at the end of our turn what we want to rig. I don't. I don't want to flip yet. We don't need to. We're gonna. We're gonna rig heads, obviously. You've stolen a couple of my cards. That's all right. You, you take my pale dead draw. All right. I'll put down my weapon. Joke's on you. I've got another pale dead draw. Get flipped. Uh, gain five bonus damage. Hold on. What are you? Three composure for each hostility card you draw. I just want to. I want to damage the argument. I want to damage your arguments, please. Look at that. The the bonus damage is through the roof. Three composure draw a card. Pale dead draw. F. Draw a card. Prepare. Set the coin. Right, we have enough. Set the coin. Let's let's draw prepare. Just because I mean I, the extra draw could be helpful. Prepare doesn't really matter. Let's throw a quick gamble out there. That's a huge roll. Although we did get made vulnerable, um, that's still pretty good. Unstable gives us pale dead draw, and it actually worked. Oh my god! <laughs> it never it never ends, man. Three composure draw a card. For a dollar, draw a card. We don't need to set our coins. Okay, we, we could still flip, but rig heads. Man, we need to, like... I need to get a withering attack that I can use to actually, like, deal damage to opponent's arguments. Or, or to their person, for that matter. Deal three damage to all opponent arguments. We love it because we have rigged heads. Look at that. Gain five bonus damage. We love it because we rig heads. Okay, there we go. This card costs zero. You love it. We no longer have rigged heads, but that's okay. Set the coin, gain bonus damage. Nah, man. First, gamble. We gambled tails. Gamble. We gambled tails. You hate to see it. Damage is kind of incoming, but that's okay, because we can just change it to heads. And then change it to heads. Really, we're just, I think, boring them at this point. But that's okay. I don't mind. Oh, we did take damage because our argument got destroyed. Okay. Now, 15 damage. I'm begging you. 15 damage. Get owned. This is going to hit heads. That was just a waste. I don't know what I was thinking. Gamble while it's still rigged. Okay, beautiful. Set the coin. Do bonus damage. Thank you. Give dominance. Give bonus damage. Three composure draw card. We don't need to set the coin. <laughs> Just like, please, please, look at all these arguments. How are you supposed to stand up to this kind of withering rhetoric? It can't be done. You can steal as many cards as you want. I'm just, I'm not even trying to do anything. I'm just trying to convince you to look the other way. Hello, baby. One medal. Set the coin and discard. Attack two random arguments. No. How about I gain shills instead? What, it, what have I done? <laughs> Oppo loves you. Whenever you play an item card, gain two defense. I will choose to get paid. 90 shills. Okay, immediately take me to the black market. You have a graft upgrade right now. Yo, okay, you're absolutely right. My mistake. I choose to install it. It rigs four heads right off the bed. Oh my word. Okay, you. I'd like to remove some battle cards. Don't I have a garbage card in here? Probably three defense that's never going to get upgraded. Get toasted. Unstable. I know, like, this has been good for us, but I still feel like it, it affects our loop. Let's see what we got here. At the start of your turn, choose a card in your hand and prepare it. At the end of your turn, gain one counter per charge. It's almost like the opposite of what we want. Apply two defense per concentration you have is pretty good. There's another dead draw, but I'm like, man, I'm, I'm losing it here. I got, I got too much going on. <laughs> Please, 
You know what? Give me give me this because we need damage dealt. That's that's just science right now. Okay, I, maybe I will add a graph slot. Lose 15 HP. It's it's a touch spicy, don't get me wrong, but you might as well do it at the start of the day. Gain four defense if you have wound or impair. Deal two bonus damage to targets with ricochet. You know what? If we have wound or impair, go ahead. Make me more defensible. I'm I'm going hard. I mean, we're we went for it. Don't get me wrong. Good times. Take this dossier, and I will choose to get work. Focus negotiation or negotiation. I choose to focus negotiation. That gives us a better reward. There you go. You could call this Say the Spire when you get in, in so many discussions with facts and logic where you destroy the enemies. She already hates us, man. Come on. You're going to make me get in an argument with her again? 56 resolve? 56 resolve? Or beat her, beat her up? <laughs> I think we'll... Let's... Let's convince in this one. I think I think this is convinced strats. Oh, Tomo, he reacted so fast. We don't have the HP to, to beat her up in this one. Get rid of unstable. We really don't need foresight. Oh no, Slug Storm will do nothing for us right now. So that's that's the play. Okay. Um, Pale Dead Draw. We it's expensive, but we know we're gonna love it. And then we know we're gonna love it. Okay, we, we still have two more riggings. That's absurd. So go ahead and take that. And then give me another pale dead draw. It never ends. Um, let's flip the coin five times. Unbelievable. Uh, get some Dominus real quick. Excuse me. They're not used to us having this many cards. Get some dominance. Set the coin to heads. We're gonna hit you. Improvise a new card. Rig two heads. Then we will hit you again. Apply four composure because we can. Rig two heads because we can. This is like... You don't want to get in a discussion with me. I've studied contemporaneously. I've studied classically. I have a degree from the NYU film school, sucker. We need... Okay, now we need red, though. Set the coin, gain one bonus damage. Uh, it's, it's rigged. We need to get two draws as fast as possible. Or two, two flips as fast as possible. That's a, that's a productive flip. We still have two rigged. Oh my god, it never ends, man. Okay, well... In that case, just go ahead and give me a bunch of influence for no reason. And, uh... I guess we'll set this to this, and we'll hope that it does enough damage to kill you. It didn't. Let's try it again. Maybe it'll just hit you randomly. It did. I'm a genius. And then we're gonna set it to heads. Okay, we do need to find a way to do damage, though. I don't know if I've mentioned that part too much yet. We still have three rigged heads. Start here. Heads. Deal three damage to all opponent arguments. Okay. We still have one rigged heads. This is no longer rigged heads, but that's okay. Okay. Gain one dominance and some bonus damage. Oh, I could have I could have gambled. Slash should have gambled first. It's no big deal. Not knowing what's going on, this is hilarious. This happens to me in every single um Grifflands run. I always take too many cool cards. And not enough cards that just do damage to the enemies. So I, I play everything for free, but none of the things I actually play end up doing damage to enemies at all. So we just set this here, do some bonus damage. There you go. 
Pale Dead Draw, we have a, a rigged roll, so we know it's going to be good. There's five bonus damage for you. Like, Enhanced Blank is the best card in our deck right now. We still have... No, we don't have any rigging, I think. Whatever, just play on Stable. Maybe it'll work. What did I tell you? Um, apply Composure, draw a card. Decisive Coin, so we take no damage and pass turn. Only the rise can keep you safe. I have ten times your mental power. Don't mess with me. We have two rigged heads still. Okay, well then you're dead. Accidentally built a deck that takes forever. Thanks for the metal. We have ten metal. Oh my god. Double this card's damage and gamble. Literally no choice. Has to be played. You can't handle my strongest rises. Convince them that they're here for the trial or fight your way in. We have low HP, so I will convince you. <laughs> I've accidentally turned myself into a blue deck player. You're not wrong. Just dump that one for now. All right, this is important. Start with this. Double the card's damage and gamble. It will give us heads. So this is 6 to 16 damage. That means something to me. It did 12, which is actually pretty good. Now, Pale Dead Draw is going to give us some free stuff. We still have some rigging. So thank you. No, thank you for the damage. That's big. Then, thank you for the composure. Now the rigging is gone, and we can pass our turn. The Barons will suck you dry. Um, is that a promise? I think we're going to go Tails Heads. So we're going to start with Tails. What did I tell you? Then this is a easy heads. This is an easy heads. Told you. Quick little unstable, never hurt anybody. Thanks for the dominance. Um, we are taking damage here. Why don't you go ahead and give me one of those then? We'll gamble real quick. More dominance. Okay, more influence is something. It is what it is. Okay, headbang is just literally like having this card changes our whole life. Pale dead drop, please. That's a, that's a bad roll for us. Set the coin to heads, though. And then we get to play Twisted Dig. It's not going to kill you, and we're... No, we're not going to... We're going to take zero damage, but... Thank God we have that other uh, headbang card. Which actually allows us to kill enemies in a reasonable time frame. Like, if it were not for that, we we have, like, almost no means to kill enemies. But now that we... Excuse me? Uh, Shroki and Glamour Stones? <laughs> Draw a card at the start of your turn. Oh, so we get not only the extra action, but also the extra uh, card draw. Which is helpful because we're trying to get to dead draw. Which is not called dead draw, but you get the idea. Dig is fine. We're trying to make it stronger. It, like This is one of our best damage dealing cards once it gets upgraded. I cannot attack you. I must convince you. Please let them live. Sire, they have stolen the rhetoric transports. Get out of here. Get out of here. It is called dead draw. That's, yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Pale Dead Draw. Enhanced Blank. Unbelievably valuable card for us. We love to see it. We still have three energy remaining. We want more draw. Draw three cards. We got Head Split. To take you on. Head Split. I'll take on anyone. Does he do bits during other games than Isaac? It's just a great question. It's not an insulting question. It's just a it's just a funny question. I don't know how to answer that. Sometimes I don't I don't have a pre I don't have like a box full of bits that I pull from. They just come to me, you know, as we talk. I try to fit it in whenever possible. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Oh, beautiful! Two extra bonus damage. We pass turn. Yeah, deck builders, plus they take a lot of focus. We got 75 arguments on both sides of the coin here. We have to consider them all. There's a lot going on, man. For, for the moment, just keep in mind, this card costs zero. And then if we set the coin to heads, 
um, this card also costs zero, and then this card does 16 damage. And also gambled. And then, thanks for the extra composure, sucker. Why not? Does Isaac never require concentration? No, at this point, it's just like, honestly, it's easier than just living my life. And I wish I was being sarcastic, but, but I am actually not. Like, like, driving is harder than playing Isaac at this point in my life. We have no rigging, so get owned. Confirmed, owning has taken place. Then give me... Hold on, get rid of propaganda. Then give me heads, please. Give me heads, please. He's done it. What's your streak at? My streak of driving or my streak of uh, Isaac? I think my Isaac streak is at one. <laughs> or, or zero. <laughs> but it's not in the minuses. My my driving streak is doing great work right now, though. It's, it, it's infinity. For the time being. Give me an improvise. Um, draw two cards, discard a card. We really just want to draw a uh, headbang. Draw two cards, okay. So if you'll excuse me, draw two cards. Headbang, please. En Enhanced blank is also fine if I could click on it. There we go. Mm, doesn't matter. You know, we do gamble enough, this might work now, but it's still like it's not enough damage to make me excited by it anymore. You have 12 metal? Dude, 12 metals? No, not bad. I'm just trying, I'm putting a little rush in here, okay? Just because I want to, it would be nice to be able to finish the run one way or the other before one o'clock rolls around. Do you do bits with Kate? I do. Like yesterday, I was talking about uh, the fact that I was a little annoyed by the fact that when I make uh, cold brew, I have to take down the compost more often because there's a lot of like, you know, coffee grinds in it that take up a lot of space. And she was like, think of it this way, though. You're a hero for the environment. And I was like, a superhero. That sound. You know what? I think I am a hero. I like the sound of that. And she was like, that's not really what I meant. And I was like, hero, huh? All right, I'll be right back. And then I took it down. It was, uh, we, we, we have fun here. Hold on, I, I can't be hit. I don't really mind if, if you guys take damage, but... I don't want to be hit. I don't want to be hit by you. Bigger than a horse is, huh? I like the sound of that. So, Cobblebot obsolete. I think I'm just trying to stop the pamphleteer. So, if you don't mind, like... Can I, uh, I, I would like to use a charge, please. I'd like to use a charge. Like, get blasted so I draw. Then spend up to, okay, gain a charge. Use a charge. Use two charges. Owned. Deal two bonus damage per empty cell. You love it. That's exactly what we're going for. That being said, we are about to get hit for 11. No. We already have six defense. So we're about to get hit <laughs> for 10, but minus five. So we're going to get hit for five, but then we're going to get three extra because of the graph that I have. So I think we're going to take eight damage. Let's see if we end up at 21. Give it a sec. Give it a sec. 24. Okay, I was incorrect. But only slightly. You need to take 24 damage. Deal damage equal to the cost of the two most expensive cards in your hand. We don't have concentration yet. Give me defense and concentration. Get wounded. Sucker. Get owns. You're not surrendering yet? What if you just surrendered instead, though? Shout out to all the people with NL Drip I saw in Knockout City today. Yo, somebody sent me a tweet that was like, this guy in Knockout City was wearing your drip. And then the guy who was wearing my drip, and you might be watching right now for all I know, while you're, while you're trolling on the other monitor, sent them a message on the PlayStation app 
that called the other player trash. And they went like, trash, trash, trash. And then the person that tweeted me replied to them and was like, yo, you're unworthy of wearing the NL merch if you're going around and calling people trash. And then they said, okay, 1v1 me and we'll see who wins. And then I think that the person who tweeted me won and was like, okay, I'll be nice next time. So, I mean, maybe there's like some positivity there, but you know, there's kind of like, you know, don't don't be a jerk out there, I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> You're getting hit for nine. I gotta be honest. I mean, that'll kill you. That's, that's spicy. That's dangerous. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Start hitting you instead. At, at least they owned up to it at the end of the day, but still, I was like, it's a little, you know, it's a little rude for sure. Anyway, I don't really mind if Foreman uh, E.T. gets hit in the head. E.T. phone home for all I care. You're dying. It would be nice for you to not die. <laughs> and instead to merely be wounded. Because, like, I don't want people to hate me just because of this. But I think that it it might be the case. You, you're a cobble bot, so you will never surrender. All attacks are piercing till the end of the turn. Okay, fantastic. If you hit him for four, he would surrender instead. Oh no. <laughs> owned. 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 Hey, anyway, I didn't kill him. The dog killed him. We need damage. Damage. We need damage. Day roll. Attack three times? Yes, yes. We take it all. We don't even look anymore. I leave, pay me, pay me, I leave. Khajiit has wares if you have coin. Hey, return. welcome, Yeetie has returned safely. A random authority card has been added to our draw pile. Um, at the start of each turn, gamble. Gain two power at the start of each battle. I mean, we might as well gamble at the start, because like we, there's nothing we can really do about it. We don't have the graph space. Get Enfeebling Ray, or get go to a quiet clearing. I refuse. We, we can at least play to the end of day three. We are, we're running up against the end of our sponsored time here, but we can at least uh, finish today. Negotiation or negotiation? I choose negotiation. Either will do handily. Whatever you say. I am a mole fixer. Come on! Sell Screamer. Or sell the auto dog. I would never. I'll sell Screamer though. Dude. 100 shills for that? Put those shills in my hand. Hey, this ain't public property. Um... I, I'll, I'll deal with you, okay? I don't need to get in a discussion about it. I already know I would defeat you. We kind of took the long way around there. Trick them into following me? Attack you? Or I, I'm going to warn you. I'm going to play both sides so I come out on top. I accept the deal. <laughs> Ooh. Just keep working them. Get attacked. He hates us. All allies. Hey, don't spit on me. He's treating me like I play for the opposite team's basketball franchise. Okay. Summon a combat drone. Get targeted. Hit all enemies. Stun enemies with metallic. Okay, so we use this against robots. We would like to spend a charge if possible. That's fine. I'll just hit you instead. You're hitting me for 12? Like, honestly, uh, what if you didn't, though? Imagine if instead of doing that, you just didn't.
easy. Start with gun smoke. You're gonna get toasted, man. Like I'm 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 scared for you. Like how toasted you're gonna get. What am I? I didn't even like I I order order. This is I'll give you the chance to say order in chat. Yeah, there is like real story decisions for making the decisions that I made. I just I've I've gone through the dialogue so fast in the interest of getting to a, a le epic boss fight um, that I I'm, I may have been a little hasty. Spend the charge, apply some wounds. We love it. Sp uh, apply some. Spend two charge. You probably should have wounded you first, but apply more wounds. Oh, by the way, you're you're dead. Um, attack three times. Whatever. Get on. That should that'll teach you. <laughs> Spend all charge and heal two for every charge spent. Yo, that's actually like mighty helpful. I think you're starting to get a reputation for violence. Nah, I don't. I don't think so. Disagree. You can ambush me if you want. Like, if you want to get owned, get owned. You're so lucky that I'm tight on time, and as a result, we'll just give you my shills. Hello. Um, convince Kalandra to accept Follow Palo as the new mole. Is that what I've been doing here? Don't listen to him. Nobody cares about you, Vermeer, or whatever the heck your name is. Okay, get two cards to, to get rid of. I'm, I'm happy where we stand. He's sabotaging me, so we're gonna we're gonna knock you out. Play Rise Manifesto real quick. Pale Dead Draw. Oh, we still have rigging. This is incredible. You're about to get destroyed. Apply three composure. Draw a card. War story will give us influence. We don't care for it. Draw two cards, then gamble. We care for it. Cannot target core arguments. Expend. Okay, well, guess what? We still did five damage to you there. Um, and now we're freaking rolling. Set the coin. Get set. I'm not gonna flip it five times. We <laughs> arguing for who knows what, Ed. Look, you don't need to know. The only thing you need to know is you set the coin and walk away. You set the coin, you walk away. Are we gonna? T we are gonna take damage. Unless we apply composure. Let's flip this a few times. <laughs> we can keep playing, but I do I like to mix up, you know, this stream and have some variety. We're we're on uh, we're a little bit past the three hours. We'll see how day three ends here. We probably have like another hour and a half left in the run, so we we might have to table it for a, a later time. Once we get through that. But I've had a great time regardless. It's always nice to be playing deck builders again. Especially deck builders that have recently come out of early access and are 20% off. Um, because as a result, chat might not have complete backseating priority over me like they do in some other games. When this card is drawn, gamble. Bro, I, I, I need cards that do damage. I need cards that do damage. Gain two actions or draw an extra card. Give me, give me another draw. No, chat's been nice. I'm just being, I'm just being a, an a-hole. <laughs> mainline, 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 mainline. Got a hundred million dollars. I raid. Oh, thank you, thank you, mouth. And then you're like, who cares if they, if the raid goes wrong? Because even if it goes wrong, I got a hundred million dollars in the bank. McDonald's has not replied to my tweet yet, by the way. Um, I, uh, I still think it would be awesome if they let me do an IRL stream. I will take a single auto dog. Um, in their drive-thru, but I think, like, for legal reasons, they can't agree to it or something. Um, but perhaps one day. I think this is our day three boss fight. Okay, this is very complicated. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff on the screen. Okay, we would like to get charges first. Hits all enemies, even though it doesn't stun them. 
we take those. I would like to get charges. We can't get charges right now. We're going to take some hits. Always nice to have a drone. Two energy remains. So we're taking a lot of hits right now. I think we need to draw in the hopes of getting some defense. And then we're going to lose energy loop, right? Because it's going to burn out on us. We can at least do 8 damage to everybody, I suppose. I don't think we're going to die here. Apply targeted to an enemy. You're already surrendering? 20, 30. Okay, you're easier to kill. We need to get rid of our charges, if possible. It's not possible. Um, I'm going to ricochet on you. I'm going to... Gain two defense per charge. Deal two bonus damage per empty cell. I guess I'll grab a charge. Real? No, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to apply even more ricochet. Then I'm going to gain a charge. No, then I'm going to do bonus damage first. Then I'm going to gain a charge. We're, we're going to get overcharged for the next turn, maybe. Why did he stop surrendering? That's a good question. If I read, the, if I read more of the... Uh, uh, the mechanics of the enemies we might be able to see. Maybe they all have to die at a similar time or something. Adds bonus damage equal to 25% of target's health. Oh, you okay, hold on. You always gun smoke. That's a given. We need more card draw. Concentrated, you're dying. Concentrated applies wounds. You gotta go. You still gotta go. Three damage will take you. I, I suppose we could also just shoot you uh, until you die. Oh, our own our own team changed uh, targeting. All right, I mean, dude, we're like we're ruthless now. Okay, we're fully charged. Start with the draw. That's not what we're looking for. We need to do 14 damage. He's panicking. No sweat. What? I don't even know why I'm playing these, to be honest with you. Why are you shooting? It's like nuclear Raz. Are you insane? Um, get owns. We already killed the rest of you. Dead men tell no tales. Bog Scimitar? What a great name. Three wound. More dam more damage. More damage. We need the damage. Damage. Empty gives concentration. Empty costs zero. We Ricochet, like it's good for AoE. You can leave now. You don't like it, Napoleon? You can leave. Probe for weaknesses or attack. Uh is this is Fleckfist? We'll probe for weaknesses, then we'll attack. I, this is actually our day three boss battle. By the book, cannot target core arguments. Okay, 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 okay. We have two dead draws. That means I'm happy where I stand. Cannot target core argument. When you dismiss this argument, gain a weakness, old injury in battle? So we would rather not dismiss it now that I, I see it. Okay, well, let's start with unstable. Obviously, that's not going to work. Let's do pale dead draw. Let's do another Pale Dead draw. Okay, all the rigging is done now. Um, we will incept you. Then we will destroy this argument. <laughs> so we can do two damage to you. We also got some Dominus. Okay, now this card costs zero. You love to see it. Wait, is that... That's the only... Oh, he gets the weakness! Why didn't you say so? You did! You should have said it again, though, maybe, or something. You did? Oh, well, okay. Why didn't you say that, then? Um, my mistake, in some ways. 
Dude, we're actually like sending him to the Shadow Realm. Please be uh, heads. F you. In all ways but the literal. <laughs> This, it's a great bit. It's like a hypothetical bit. It's based on a real person I know. The person is me. And the bit is, um, what if there was a streamer who couldn't accept personal responsibility for his actions? Um, 6 to 16 damage. Okay, what the heck is this? Inflammable. When you dismiss this argument, gain a weakness inflammable card in battle. We, we do have a dead draw. We have no rigging though. Okay, start here. You gotta play headbang whenever it shows up. Come on, man. Um, I think it's I think it's fine. I think you just set heads, rig heads for next turn as well. I can live with it. Inflammable means flammable. What a country! Ain't that the truth? End this negotiation and start the fight. Not yet. Not yet. We gotta do more damage to you. Add two quick jabs to your hand. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna just keep hitting you. It's it's self-directed. We oh yeah yeah, this is important. You should have played pale dra dead draw first. You should have played it first. You should have played it first, man. Bonus damage, please. Order, order. I choose not to start the fight. Like, we can keep this going forever, man. And by forever, I mean we're about to take some some psychic damage, but life goes on. Frick off, Beltaloda. <laughs> Dude, this year, Halloween? Two dose Halloween? Maybe it's time to be a Beltaloda for Halloween, finally. Wouldn't that be something? We have a pale dead draw. Okay, there you go. I thought I rigged. I did not rig. Okay, that worked. Improvise. Rig heads. Honestly, I think you actually rig tails on this one. It literally doesn't really matter. Like, at all. We're hitting you pretty good, but that's about it. Play War Story first? N no, because it's that's too smart. Okay, just just a couple more injuries. That's all I ask. Okay, we gamble. This card costs zero. But if you start with Pale Dead Draw, now we're talking. This card costs zero. Get extremely owned. Flip it, baby. Great flip. This card costs zero. You love to see it. Get owned. We get two quick jabs in our hand next time. We got three energy remaining. Quick little gamble. That's great. Quick little gamble. Do some damage to you, maybe. Either way, it's damage one way or the other. I choose to I choose to gamble. Mission accomplished. One more in or whenever we draw the card next, we'll probably take that as where we're gonna go. That's that's where the fight will begin. We do have start fight. So I know I said we were gonna start the fight and all that. But I'm like, what if instead <laughs> We try to get you with this. Okay, headbang, headbang, 6 to 16 damage. Please, please. Bad roll. But hey, free card with some bonus damage. I simply have to do 13 damage to you. It's not that bad. This card costs zero. Get owned. Get headbanged. Oh. I can't, I can't play it. I can't play it. Whatever. Put it on heads for a second. Five bonus damage. Let's go! <laughs> I just want to uh, just want to hit you. Okay, fine, whatever. Time for more than words. Great song. Discard up to four cards. 
Well, well, well. Damage? Three bonus damage? I mean, we, blank has been really good for us, especially when upgraded. Dig? We want to do more damage. That's good. Head split? More damage. Twisted dig. It's freaking... It's all twisted up. Okay, so you are... Oh my god. Um, You're so strong. <laughs> if target is stunned, do bonus damage. Okay, st step one. You spend a charge. It's that simple. We summon a combat drone. We get concentration. We apply some wound to you. Ricochet doesn't really matter. And we'll save this in the hopes of uh, stunning you later. Oh, okay. Assorted junk. At least it's added to our discard pile. I will attack you three times. I will gain two charge. And then use our energy loop to heal. And then, you know, I'm going to swamp smash you. It is what it is. So the goal of the game is to fight, but to use talking as well, so sometimes you don't have to. Honestly, you can really play it however you want to play it, is is uh, is the easy way to say it. You don't have to... Um, you, you can really... It's it's self-directed, I guess, is, is the best way to say it. If you want to fight, you can fight. If you want to talk, you can talk. We're taking three damage. That's that's nothing, man. Here, take five ricochet just in case you summon things in the future. There are mandatory fights, but every mandatory fight can also be made easier through talking. There you go. That's what I said in many ways. We're about to die? Um, what? How about instead of that, <laughs> we we don't? Okay, hold on. 20, so that's 30 damage. We're coming close to living. All attacks are piercing. Heal me for six. Now we're no longer dying. And clearly I'm a genius. What is Scorched? It's, makes burn better. Makes sense. I get, get burned and Scorched then. This seems like a, this seems like a heavy rip. Never mind, we were we were saved easily. Destroy, replenish. Hitting him reduces his damage. Oh, why didn't he say so? We really don't care for Ricochet. We can start here though. Well, we, we like hitting him as many times as possible then. Get out of my hand, please. Thank you. My man is losing a lot of momentum. We're totally gonna succeed anyway. Just because, like, you know, you don't have to be smart if you're good. There's a little lesson for you. Oh, assorted junk, assorted junk, assorted junk, assorted junk. Um, get burned and scorched, my friend. As we are concentrated, get attacked three times. Uh, we will draw a card on you. Your music has already gotten uh, dangerous. Like, you, you know you're dead, right? Spend a charge to apply wounds. Oh, don't mind if I do. He's absolutely dead. Plus wrenched. Great status effect. Wrenched. You surrendering here? Or what, what? You're surrendering. Okay, well. Feel free. Um, you know what? <laughs> Why not? Get trunked. I decline this. Double this card's damage and gamble. Headbang always is going to be lit. It's a word I use a lot because I'm a smart guy. And very in keeping with the modern parlance. Draw three cards. I'll always take. That's not what trunked is. It is now. 
Gamble twice? No. Definitely double the extra damage. Slug Storm? Yes. Metal. Force Spanner. Bruce Banner. Force Spanner. Don't ambush me, man. Don't. I. Can you love me? Give 50 shills, he'll love you. Look at that. At the start of each battle, four defense, temporary, pan, uh, temporary power. Don't lie to me, Walt. I will rest in the back. Day four is the final day, right? Is this correct? Day five is the final day? Okay. I will, we'll, we'll move on from here then, but it's a good time to point out. Um, we, we put in some work today, man. We did murder 11 people, or 11 people died because of us. Ooh la la, big, big whoop. Um, Grifflands is an awesome game. This is a sponsored segment. It was sponsored by Clay. It finally came out of early access. Check it out as usual. You know, it has that standard of quality that is typical of Clay's products. Um, don't starve, oxygen not included, shank, shank two. It's just like, they, you know, they've got a, a, a... Every game's a little bit different, but they're all unified by, like, a awesome art style, attention to detail, and, you know, if I may say so myself, great quality as well. Mark of the Ninja, I almost forgot about Mark of the Ninja. Um, go check it out. Again, this was sponsored, but uh, it's 20% off now that it's out of early access. Exclamation point, Grifflands, and you can go check it out for yourself. Great game. Love, love the game. Invisible Ink? I can't believe I, for, I forgot about Invisible Ink. 